Gucci with Gucci. Hey yo, what's good? What's cracking? What's hack? Yeah, this is Mr. Blade Franco here, and today we are continuing our My Rise with Dawn, Dynamic, Matoda. And for those coming back from watching um, Backlash and everything, I hope you guys enjoyed. Backlash honestly was a dope ass pay per view, and you know, we'll talk about it throughout the stream and everything. But for right now, I wanted to make sure I watched that pay per view first to definitely watch the good ass show. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Oh, let me make sure I turn this down. These down. Yeah, I got I got like a little extra monitor right here, so I gotta do this real fast. So I right that way the background noise don't get onto the camera too much. All right, let's do this thing. That went about as well as expected, at least for us. What do you think? Should we make this faction official? Make that work. Not yet. And not with Shayna. Were you at the same match? Because the two of you sure did a number on those two sacrificial lambs. Trust me. You're the boss. So, back to a duo or back <laughs> to square one? I, I know I wanted Jay to win that title too, but honestly, it's like in a business standpoint, it makes sense the whole time that like, um, my guy won. Damien Priest just got the belt and he already looks like a world champion material, so why not make it last for a little bit? Plus, I feel like they want to break up the group beforehand. I, I, I feel like it will work. I'll take it care will of work. it. But yo, Jay put up a good fight and the crowd was loving him. <laughs> Look, Jay will have his time. I just feel like they're they're really just like taking their time with it. But don't worry, Jay Jay's gonna get his time very soon. Yeet all the way, all the way. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Oh yeah, this is like the side story thing. They wanted me to learn from other wrestlers and everything a little bit more. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, okay. Yo, the the crowd control was not there. <laughs> France was louder than ever the whole night. Like, honestly, I think that's one reason why, but I, why to me, that's probably one of my favorite pay-per-views from WWE, just because it's like, the UK crowd made it so much better than the American crowd ever could do, honestly. Like, I could admit to say that they was off the charts like every, like they even had the camera shaking more than ever <laughs> but i think that's an atmosphere that you're supposed to have i mean, no, like not all the time but a good portion of the time you will want that atmosphere when you're like holding down a wrestling show see see think about it though backlash might not might now be the loudest show for wwe because that's already two pay-per-views back to back that they went to places outside the US that had a louder crowd more engaged into wrestling than the American crowd well, ever an could. And it's, it, it, is, it was just insane for that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. But shit, honestly, like I said, that that's actually what helped made it probably one of the best pay-per-views all year outside of WrestleMania. Last week, Cap teamed with Shayna Baszler. Now it's Zoe Stark. Where's the Senior backlash. <laughs> I mean, we possibly could too. Yeah, thinking about it, he pretty much he pretty much stood out and had in, in like two of the matches for for backlash. Like both times, he had the Bad Bunny one, which was a really good match, and he did a really good match with Jey Uso. It, and, and trust me, I like the fact too that they're developing more the story of just Standing I don't together, want Judgment Day broken up, but I think it's about time for Judgment Day to break to work out. Facility. Oh yeah, they it, it's like a weird team setup they got me on. I don't, I don't know what this is really. I'm more just want to hurry to get this side of the storyline over with because like I'm supposed to learn from from Rhea Ripley, but I'm not learning too much as I as I guess I would. But 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 Simon, what would you say was and like your favorite match of of the night, honestly? Perhaps 
Because to me, my favorite matchup of the whole show was probably... Thinking about it, I think the best I think the ma best match of the night was the, the Cody Rhodes and um, AJ Styles match. That was a high-quality pay-per-view match, better than any of AJ's other matches, honestly. Oh, Rhea's already pretty much a babyface. It's like, Rhea's one of those type of people that she can be herself and just be the biggest babyface there is while at the same time doing heel tactics. It's the same way as like Ric Flair at times. Dirtiest player in the game, but he get love like no tomorrow. Could that be it? Try to adjust that. But damage control looks very good in the game, honestly. Like I'm I'm very happy with this year's game. Because everybody looks more like themselves. The, it looks so clean and pretty Quite much almost simply, real. Nobody almost. Can stop damage control. Last week, Cap and Rhea were with Shayna oh, this is a Oh, this, this is Trios? Okay. This nice, is nice. Action. I thought I had to tag in, tag out. I wonder how comfortable Zoe will be knowing how quickly Cap and Rhea could switch things up again. Zoe's a pro. She'll go out and let the chips and opponents fall where they may. I'm I'm, I, I should look at the dialogue though, honestly. I have no clue why, why um, Shane is not in here. Striking with the knee drop. So precise. And he just busted out an impactful maneuver. Yeah. I say Priest and Uso was a pretty good match, honestly. I wanted to say them, honestly, but like, I feel like they told more of the story that they were supposed to. Cody Rhodes AJ match rather than all um, the Usos and Priest match. Even though they did tell the story there too, but it's more within Judgment Day rather than Jay Uso. Yo, but the debut, the debut of 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 a uh, Tom 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 the low, low? Oh, God now in WWE is probably going to be none of the chaos now. The new July, the new one bloodline is going to be on a new level, bro. And I'm, I can't wait, honestly. I can't. Oh, yeah, but the crowd, like I said, awesome. Alright, I ain't going to keep triple teaming right now. And two women matches, which is showing women wrestling is definitely stepping up too. And also, I'm cool with it, really. Shit, the triple threat match was was pretty much like it was a good match. It wasn't all spectacular, but the but the feel of it was definitely good. And then the tag team match. Honestly, I've never really been too much of a fan of the women tag team matches because the teams are so randomly put together all the time. But this was actually a pretty good women's tag team match. Like, I, actually, I was actually invested into it from beginning to end. So, I mean, the women matches held their own as well as the men's matches. Right. I said, where are we at? Oh, yeah, let's finish this up. She 
can't take much more of this. Yeah, not looking good at all. This could be it. Yeah, I'm taking my two, two on one. This is just easy. How do you cheer for everybody but me? What? Come on. <laughs> How do you cheer for everybody but me? Yo, Simon, you see? All right, Simon. <laughs> Chelsea Green got got a got a ass beat. What like I said, she didn't hold up. And kicks out before the reps count. What a kick out. Boom, driving the elbow. Boom, gone. And he has got what's more than one. Slipper slam. Oh, boy, that's a determined stare. Wait, how did I cheat it? What you mean? And that risk game I did no such thing. I am wrestling fair and square. Oh, I'm fix something like this. Okay, there we go. Point of the elbow counters that. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized? Such a last in the ring. I need to finish off some of it. Lifted high into the electric chair position. This is going to be bad. Wait a minute. Watch out. Only throwing the body out of the ring like that. I thought I was going to land on somebody. Sage kick. That's fine. Cheer for everybody else but me because I just won Porta Group. Let's go, team. <laughs> Why you got a boob inside of God damn. Well, these two are mad at each other. was expecting backup from her newly formed faction. She's not getting it. The cat's letting her teammate sink or swim, Cole. It's tough love. <laughs> Simon, really? <laughs> I'm about to say, what? How you gonna say Vince book, book this? Word? Word? Okay. And technically, it's not even fully me. It's just a character I've made. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Let's go, Dawn. I'll, I'll be the only one to do that then. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, so she was messing with these two and just pretty much strung them along. Well, damn. <laughs> Oh, submissions only match. That actually sounds pretty good. I like the sound of that. I'm not, not, bruh. I was not, just because she has glowing hair doesn't make her the Naomi 2.0. I was going for a black Charlotte, but you know, just battle. with a little glow on it. So I guess a little, I guess a black Charlotte with a sprinkle of, of, of glow. How about that? That's not, that, that's not, that's not good enough. I should really have a water bottle with you. Now this team does look dangerous though. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring. So, Shane Newman, and Rhea Ripley. Cap has proven herself to be one okay, of the okay. most well, all good. superstars. Hey, however you can watch is all that matters. Is anyone going to stand up to this bully? Not if they know what's good for him, Saxton. Do you want to make her mad? I sure don't. Alright, 
we got another look at this tag team. Let's let's see who we'll face and then take them out real fast. Now, honestly, I, I actually like the tag team of Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Like, they weirdly worked very well together in the ring. They annoyed the shit out of each other on social media, but they worked very well in the ring, really. Like, that, that's a duo I would definitely say I would have them, like, be tag team champs. I will play Undisputed when I when I finish the winning story. My my goal was that I already went through the whole playthrough of Undisputed, so my goal now is to just go through a whole run through of Undefeated or Unleashed. I'm my fault. Unleashed. I don't know. When it comes to the My Rise, I want to give the My Rise a chance and actually like play through both of them. Plus, I I always want to see like what the, what the, what they put into this game. You know, give give the developers a, a fair feel. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. Unbelievable athleticism. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Look, I'm going to let you cheer for who you want to cheer. I don't care. Because Dawn is going to win. Counter. Paying it back with their own counter. Counter after counter. Hey, motherfucker. As the leg trap, fisherman suplex. I'll be damned if I my let Zoe beat me. Zoe is, is horrible, but if I had to pick between the two, I, I, I would rather take the loss to um, Shayna than take the loss to, to Zoe. Double stop. Zoe moves out of the way. Hits the drop kick. Yeah, how you like that drop kick and that leg drop? Placed in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. All right, let's get this tag team in and let Rhea get a chance. Right I'm gonna cheat if you like. I'm just that good. This match continues. Looking for more damage here. Release. I'm gonna let Rhea do her thing. I'm gonna chill here on the side. Not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss that is not assault. Tag statement. team moves are tag team moves. If you watch wrestling, you know it's tag team rules. Assault will be me running in the ring and beating the crap out of her while my partner is legal. God damn, okay, She's Zoe was ready for me. Yeah, Zoe just got All right, Zoe was ready for me. Fight, though, but that's expected. And one more for good measure. Oh this. man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. She avoids the contact. Ah, she is oh, this is the target. Zoe was looking for a second. She was. Not enough for him now. Great athleticism. Jeez. 
Come on, Shane. Bring it. Paying it right back with a reversal. Drop kick. It hits the mark. Oh, I just remember the submission Got match. Right, I'm going to focus on the leg attacks. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. Clearly an attack that very few superstars on, can perform with such ease. That offense taking a toll on him. See, now this is a huge one here. strikes like that it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind Shayna Baszler's defense is being whittled down Baszler's back of tricks uh, maybe empty we'll get the full back wow oh, Sasha Banks said not going to be for team word I'm not sure okay. if it's resilience or stupidity that's <laughs> going right. to allow you to try and come back from a move no, like that's that. actually going to be that's a good ass one oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh my gosh! Well, she Damn, might be zoned in on the leg at this point. Trying to debilitate Shot the block. capability to stand. She returns the favor there. Shayna there keeping that stream of offense. Oh, she's almost in getting shape. Out. Yeah, Shayna able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. A leg drop across the knee. Very effective. And she is doing whatever she wants right now. She's fighting hard and reaping the rewards. She's on her last legs here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't I say that. I heard Zach gets up. I mean, Zoe gets up. Oh, get ready. She knows now exactly what it's she's time for her to tap out. Dropping that leg, and the submission is sunk in. The submission. And with Rhea with a perfect boot to the mouth of Zoe. I don't care if Zoe was the legal. Here's the reason why I need to do it. So that way Zoe wouldn't get in right away. And you know what? It worked. That's what you should do in tag team matches to guarantee a victory. Now, and honestly, I've always noticed that the best method to do when you play a lot of tag team matches. Knock off the tag team partner so you can't save him. And he'll be good. Two great superstars that go great together. Wait, where the brass nuts would have came from? She Perfect kicked most of the time. Between these women. <laughs> I see many more wins in the future for this pairing. You know, Logan Paul. Shit, if only. If only. Alright, let's see how much longer I'm going through this road with Rhea. I mean, it's working out alright. It'll be interesting if me and Rhea end up being tag team champions. Ooh, okay, so I got something with Justine and I got something with Troy. So aggression, why so brutality? Alright, nice. So now we got some side stories to go through. Yeah, we got a Carly Prime and we got Justine. Okay, let's see what we could do with that. But first, let me level up a little bit. submissions a little bit gotta have to make sure dawn is the, is the best at submissions at all time pretty fun to wreck zoe and shana and both in and out of the ring reminds me never to question your ruthlessness see now that works out Look, she deserved more time than Drew's world title reign, okay? That feel crazy how, how they just did the world title dirty for like a second time at WrestleMania. Because like, that's the second time I can ever remember there's something involving the world title and somebody being champion or having a very short match. It's always something. No, nobody's worse than Troy. Troy is the absolute worst. Worse. You know how much he's the worst? We're saving him last and we're going to see Justine. You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star Locker. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? Go ahead and fix the music real quick. I want to talk about Psycho Sally. 
Psycho Sally? Oh no. What happened with Sally? What about her? She eating solid food yet? She is not that annoying. So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Nice. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. Can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. Hey, I had to teach you some brutality. I mean, what, what can I say? I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world, and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way? Being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Okay. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing. But I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. Look, the booker had some good ideas if they wanted to book Matoda to win. Because you know, Matoda is money. You gotta have Miss Dynamic on at all times. Ooh, but let's see what happens here. Psycho Sally back in the ring, okay. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed. Oh, she still looked the same. I thought, I thought she was gonna change up her look a little bit. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. May Young will, will break a hip before she thinks she could beat Dawn Matoda in anything. Don't, don't, don't be don't be putting that old woman Justine in the middle of all that. WWE tryouts. Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. All right, so I'm, so I'm guessing I'm wrestling as Psycho Sally unless I'm in the match. Thea is here. Okay, so I'm wrestling as Psycho Sally. come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, uh, Thea from high school to NXT? She really God damn. Woman who can hold her own. And that means no yeah. more waiting. No yeah, more I, for I, I agree. Time to stop being a student and Thea start Hell. teaching lessons. I, I def definitely am a fan Thea of Thea Hell. Thea Hell is a ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. I, I, I like the ball of energy that Thea Hell is. It, it, it's a perfect thing to get the crowd behind her. And honestly, the storyline that they've been doing with the feud between her and JC. Oh, that shit was actually phenomenal. Psycho I, I very much like it. Seems to be searching for herself out there. It's hey, Psycho, let's get a victory over her. Betrayal to finally fight Michael, both physically and mentally. She needs to find a way to silence that and get her head on straight. Okay, so it looks like Cycle's already got like a little pass injury, so she's gonna definitely try to get much better. You know what? I'm not even gonna argue with that. Yeah, we're not gonna argue with that whatsoever. <laughs> like I said, DL is definitely looks, looks very good. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Thea Hale gets battered as her opponent goes to work. Come on, Thea. I'm sorry I have to beat you like this. Good use. I have to do what I got to do. You understand? Any of Thea Hale's defenses have been... Springboard. Nice. Coming in hot at breakneck speed. Psycho Sid is on fire right now. I mean, Psycho Sally. Why did I say Sid? <laughs> Look, if the hell beats me, the hell beats me. It's not like I can do it over. What a counter! 
Momentum going back to Psycho Sally's corner. Good chance for her to gain her wits about her. Brutal forearm. Thea gets the better there. Okay, serious. I, I can't reverse anything. I can't reverse the damn thing. <laughs> DDT spiked. That That's the way to come back after getting getting, getting the straight They've definitely ass taking their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Getting back into the ring. Oh, kick right in the face. She could pin her opponent right here. Come on. Ref, move your ass. Got it. No, just a two. That is just pure instinct at this point. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Oh, it's going from finish off Chicago. Okay. She still fights out in one. Amazing effort by her. Come on. And that one misses the mark. Attack. Ah, oh, right to the back. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Ooh, oh, she reversed the finisher. Okay. That is not the problem. To the not the problem. Basket for their troubles. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And this is. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Psycho. Get out of here. Except for maybe the has the arm trapped her and the arm. Almost lost. Almost lost. <laughs> Hit with the cutter. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? And she fights it off. Come so on, Psycho. It's unbelievable. Standing shooting star. Press incredible. Shoulder up now is huge. I will say Thea Hell is hanging in there for a good uh -oh. while. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad okay, I, I should have waited. I should have waited. Should have waited. <laughs> and I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. She right, sets back, back in under the ring. ropes. Let's try to end this match already. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Looking to take flight here. Come on, Psycho. Let this be it. Uh oh. Way too far. Quality oh, moonsault. Wow. Is it enough? The cover. There's two. She gets the shoulder up. She just will not go away. I mean, well, that's one thing I also like with the house. Like, she's one of those people that just doesn't go down easy no matter what. Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Any of Thea Hale's defenses have been pegged. All right, but I gotta get it done now. She is queuing it up again. Standing Spanish fire. There we go. Incredible. Two. Psycho Sally gets the win. Yeah, pretty Let's much. Look at these women in action. The Trouble in Paradise straight into a Spanish fly. That's definitely a way to end the match. <laughs> but there was a point there almost had me. She almost had me. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally! Look, out of fairness, if Thea was able to, to honestly injure my arm before the submission, she would have had me. She would have had me. Look, what am I supposed to do? Just take the loss? No. It wasn't in the book. It wasn't signed to that to happen. All my screen has just booze all over. <laughs> Why you booing so hard for, bro? Why you booing so hard? Just be happy for Psycho hey, Sally. Hey, Carly, how's it going? All right, let's let's see what's going on here in the back. How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, Psycho. Honestly, Psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. Right after I started training, I saw this match Cab had with La Suspira. Ooh. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cab catches her with a kick to the gut. 
looks out at the crowd and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Look, if I had Cameron Grimes on, on one of my actual rosters, I would treat him way better than how Derby did. Aw, oh, that sounds I'll insane that for and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe. But I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. I mean, she probably needed it. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. Now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by a Oh, yeah. Recently. I believed in Joe Henry before Joe Henry was, was asking people to believe in him, bro. I was following Joe Henry in, in the independent circuit, and I was a huge fan of him, what honestly. I, I still am. I still fuck with Joe Henry. The only thing is I just don't Psycho I haven't Valley. watched TNA I just won a match anymore. by straight up cheating. I used to, but I, I, don't know. I haven't watched TNA that, that One, deeply. Two, three. And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the caps and rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to like be a tag team? Okay. Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. Okay, so I got, got a nice little tag team. I believe in Joe Henry. Okay, where the hell is he though? I need Joe Henry here. I believe in Joe Henry. Well, unfortunately, Joe Henry ain't here, but you know who's here? Psycho Sally. Let's see what she's up to. <laughs> Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. Well, the game is to my sister. A tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing now, but Joe Henry, I can see he's going Las far. Vegas, if he keeps his popularity day building through his music and everything going, Sally. I can see him be TNA Psycho World Champ, honestly. Sally like, I can actually see it. Just gotta give it a little bit more time. Kids love her. Kids love a lot of weird things. That's not exactly the barometer I go by. All right, let's see how Car Carla Prime wrestles. It's a must-watch fury with the up-and-coming Carly Prime. And her partner, Carly Prime. Carly Prime has really been making an impression as of late, Corey. Hey, I, trust me, I understand. Like, the backlash took a lot of energy out of me just watching because the, the, the crowd was so engaging. The that it's like, she's is I almost didn't feel extreme like today, but I had to keep to it. Is what she can hey, do in the thank you for joining me like always, Sa Simon. You already know when, how to catch me. You already know where I'm at. She probably might wrestle better than Matoda. Probably, but we got to see, see how she wrestles, though, nonetheless. Ooh, okay, let's see how JC Jane Lou. JC Jane. Wait, who's the boot for? With a rock star attitude. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna be mad when, when Matoda becomes women's champion and holds that belt forever. Florida, JC Jane. JC Jane only looks out for herself. In fact, she proved it by viciously betraying past allies, not making any new friends around here. She thinks she's on a completely different level. I always thought JCJ was pretty okay. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm, I'm any big fan of hers, but it's like, JCJ does well character-wise. In ring-wise, I don't really care too much for her. But outside the ring, Jane brings very a interesting. Fire to the ring every time she competes. And she has attitude to spare, ready to make her next big I mean, if, if, if she's wrestling that much as Roman Reigns, then yeah, def, definitely, like, she got to be able to do that as champion. So she got the longest women reigns of all time. 
The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora. Yo, Cora Jade needs to hurry up and come back to the ring, bro. I know she's injured, but she got to hurry back. Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. See, we'll see. Look, Jade isn't we here will to play see. games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. I feel so bad for Finn Balor every time I see that <laughs> or hear about that. Shit, I remember watching the pay-per-view match of Finn Balor beating Seth Rollins to be the first Universal Champion. And then, unfortunately, the man gets injured in the match to where he has a relinquish, relinquished about literally Corey the next Jade day. To make a statement here that tonight. sucked. And that statement is that As a fan of Finn Balor, that sucked. I really wanted to see Finn Balor in this Universal reign. Because he did so well as an They're NXT World Champion. Enemy. Now we find out if that share betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the target. Actually, speaking of that, funny part, there was a thing to where, like, I saw online, right they, they put up a poster with every NXT um, champion there ever match. been, and they asked the question, who do you believe is the greatest NXT world champion? Me, personally? Adam Cole. Adam Cole to me was the best Big NXT four. world champion because he brought a lot of interest onto the title, a lot of eyes onto the brand, and, it was, and he was pretty much to me the leader of the black and gold. Him and, him and Johnny Gargano are the leaders of NXT's black and gold that to me was the best era of NXT. Don't get me wrong, they brought back the black and gold, but it's not the same. But it's okay though. Having something different is good, but at the same time, if, if I can pick which type of NXT I want, I want the black and gold one that, that featured Undisputed Era so dominant they had every belt that the men's can hold. Her shoulders are down. And quick getting the arm up. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. And Sally is countered. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. And scissors takedown. Use a chair and get DQ. Why? Why do I want to get DQ? All right, so before I get DQ, I still want to see um, how Prime wrestles. So let's get her in the ring so we can finally see. But JC Jade actually lets me get into the ring. What a lariat! She's taking some big hits here. Got the tag. Got the tag. Nice. All right. Oops. All right, she got some quality forearms. She's staying elusive. Brutal knee right to the face. All right, nice knee smash. Throwing a random move. Over the shoulder. Ooh, okay. So, so she she got kind of like a Bianca Belair type of build almost. Very very athletic to where she is also very strong. I actually like it. She kicks out in one. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Boom! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh yeah, definitely she's a powerhouse. Look at this power. Superhuman. Being able to pull that off, no one's gonna question if you skip going to the gym today. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Okay. Yeah, I like Prime. I like Prime. Completely neutralized. I got right to the gut. All right, what is her moves? Just to just to see, because I'm probably not going to be able to. Okay, rolling elbow, standing, and the alley oop. Ah. That's not bad for some for, for starter moves, honestly. I can see her with something better down the line if she was actual like an old Jeopardy wrestler. Impact, quite the showmanship. JC isn't taking this line down anymore. Jane was being tested and was finally able to get some offense of her own in. Oh my goodness! Into the power bomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. All right, Someone let's go ahead and get this cute. match to go on much longer than it has to. Ooh, caught with a knee to the much. Bitch. Ooh. Looking for something, anything under the ring. She was looking for the great equalizer, but she found it. 
I did my personal wrong button. I was trying to change the targeting not while I was playing, guys. Oh, shit. Let's try to just kick my head off. Sally's vulnerable here. Come on, Psycho. She gets the tag. Oh, she almost caught me with that. Almost. Steel chair to the temple. That's so crazy. Why why they wanted me to get DQ for? Oh my god. Disqualification. The old foreign object. Oh, they always say cheaters never Well, that was pretty psycho, I guess. I, I don't know. That was pretty random as hell. Ooh. Wow. That was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know. That felt freaking incredible. Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy. I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should, we should get a tag title opportunity. You want a tag title opportunity, but y'all just got yourself DQ. What? Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why, that's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah, we attack the tag team champions. They're crazy. bound to give us like a title it. shot. That always works. Sure, we could also ask. We should make a statement, just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room, the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. The fact Psycho Sally has the name Psycho Sally, but she's afraid to get psycho is beyond me. I make no promises. But I like Prime. Prime is more psycho than Psycho Sally. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Hold on, that's Carly Prime and Psycho Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they will establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. Well, damn. I, 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 I guess we'll that's the, the idea. Duo of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. We're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourself the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash Scorched Earth. And if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. Hey, guys in the truck, can we mute Saxon's mic for this one? Yeah. He gets tongue-tied calling a traditional tag team match. This one's bound to get him all sorts of flustered. Not the position you want to be in right now. I will say though, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't really impressed with the tag team run with one of these two women. Like, I feel like no Ava Fire and Isla Dawn could be a really ring. good tag team, but I don't know. I, I wasn't convinced with them being tag team champions together. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't see it. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. She must be close to finish now. Yeah, things like, are not Ava looking Fire, for her right now. I definitely it's already incredible. see, like, the she could be an NXT seen. Women's oh, Champion or NXT Champion if pushed correctly. But Isla Dawn, I don't know. For some reason, I just can't grasp the, the, the Isla Dawn too much. I don't hate her, but it's like, I don't know. Some some wrestlers always has that weird aura of just like they're good, 
but you need to figure out how could they be better. I will say this though, at least in game, this gameplay, I'm, I'm kind of kind of moving better when it comes to uh, giving the quick, but quick action times. Mm -hmm. Let's hit this moonsault. Almost hit that moonsault. Oh, well, shit. My God, enough! And she slides her back to the mat. Driven down face first. Well, now they're starting to get they get they hit back. That's oh, that was just dominating shoulder tackle. Yeah. Excuse me. Damn, I'm Nasty looking crazy. inverted suplex. Come on, psycho. Get your ass. Oh damn. Holly Prime is definitely stepping up for the team. Way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is in so do it. No telling what's underneath the ring tie. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. She's getting something from under the ring. Oh, God. It's funny she said no chairs on it since we're both grabbing chairs. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Byron's a big. Something nefarious is beneath the ring. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, and she got out of there. Right on the chair. You know that, dude. Oh. Boom! Oh, taking a nasty hit from a flying chair. Oh, with a fart. Oh, this could be something. Oh, yeah, she's out for it. That combination did it. Combination didn't do it. That that would have been some bullshit right there, honestly. But it looks like Carly Prime and Psycho Sid definitely Did doing some good. Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Island Alba down an instant title match. Yep. Worked out just like you said. That is trippy though. How do you get a title shot just from the fact you beat down the champions on a random ass show? But they are right. It has worked plenty of times. I've seen plenty of weird notions to where someone will get attacked and then next, you know, title shot. I mean, technically, when you look at it, that's what happened on AEW the last um, on last Dynamite. Literally, Christian Cage showed up, uh, showed up and attacked Swerve, and in the midst of it, had gotten the title shot thanks to the Young Bucks. It's it's a weird thing that works. I mean, I get why it would work because you're gonna want to you you're gonna want to get your look back as the champion, while at the same time you know they're gonna want want to only let you do that if you put the belt on the line, and then from there you're so hyped up you like I don't give a fuck I'll throw my title on the line, just let me get that motherfucker. And it's so, so I mean so good. Yeah, Captain makes Rhea, sense. They're really onto something. Brutality, brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is. It's a shortcut, Carly. I don't get Psycho Sally. How is your name Psycho Sally, but you're afraid to be Psycho? An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. How is so, how is somebody like Carly Prime, who comes in as a random high-level track star, somehow more Psycho than the person that names herself Psycho Sally? No. No, you don't. You feel like a bully. And that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us, isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did. At least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But we got a title opportunity. And we are going to go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho. Psycho Sid is very weird. Hell yeah. But what we won't do 
is anything like Cap and Rhea. Because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality. That's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking not. Okay, there we go. Now we're so making we're sense. win the tag team titles and prove it. Okay. Well, I say, for once, Sally actually sounds like she's making sense. Now, I hope they can actually win the match. I wouldn't mind letting them be tag team champions because I don't see Dawn being a tag team champ anytime soon. I mean, it's not that I wouldn't, but honestly, I kind of wouldn't care. Oh, I put my thing on the charger. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. Give me a second. Just got to put my phone on the charger. All right. Psycho Ooh. Sally is really capturing the imagination of the WWE Universe, Corey. Kids love her. Kids love a lot of weird things. That's not exactly the barometer I go by. Look, Corey, sometimes you got to make sure the kids are more entertained before you are. Because at the end of the day, the kids are going to be the long-term term fans that's going to be fans like how you was. That, that's the point of the wrestling business. Let it just carry on for generation to generation. Prime for victory, prime for greatness. It's Carly Prime. I still say she looks like Prime's like like daughter. Deion Sander Prime. Like that that like it definitely looks believable. See, it's weird. I don't know. It's like they, I don't feel like they fit. Like they fit, but they don't fit. I don't know how to explain that. They're just a weird. Their tag team, I just don't feel convinced of. Of course, the title is on the line in this one. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna skip them though, honestly, because they don't even have the right animation for these two women together. So I, I kind of don't want to watch that. You would think they would have their tag team entrance, honestly. It was not that crazy looking, but you can tell by movement wise how it's supposed to go. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime. Oh, yeah, this badass tag team definitely going to do some work. Like I said, the only thing I don't like of the tag titles for the women, they, the, the women tag titles always feel like they're being put on to just random tag teams consisted of two singles wrestlers just randomly being put together. It doesn't even feel like, you know, like they're putting up something with an actual team against actual team. Personally, for me, I feel like the only real, like, made as a team team to win the women's tag titles of today katana chance and kaden carter those two together actually are a built tag team from the beginning even in nxt they came in as a women's tag team and they won the nxt tag team titles and the nx and the, the, the wb tag titles so that's literally to me the only team on the women's division that was meant for tag titles Every other tag team that you see is just a team put together of two very successful single wrestlers. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Tough spot for Ott. Springboard. That's why I also say I feel like I'm ready enough to see Katana Chance and Kaden Carter split off and have their own single runs. Because I'm already a fan of Kaden Carter more, so I would want to see Carter uh, wrestle solo. I don't hate Katana Chance, but it's just of all the small wrestlers that ever come into the business, she is so unbelievably awkwardly small. Like she comes off to me like she could be the female Spike Dudley if they wanted to do it. Oh, 
look, there's a lot of like short women wrestlers by height, but I'm talking about by like body look as well. Just like my girl got no meat, no meat on her bones, bro. This is not me trying to talk shit about Carter. Not, not, not Carter. Um, Katana. But that, that's just my personal reason why I can't get into her. Trying to end this match as fast as possible. Come on, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. Create separation. She does so. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. What a nice takeover. And a menacing look from Psycho South. I gotta get the fatigue up. All right, I'll be getting back in. Oh, my goodness. Blocked it. The knees up could provide a huge turnaround. That's good block, though. All right, if Isla Dawn's smart, she should just tag straight out. Because it's like, yeah, I'm not letting you do a tag team move to tag out. Oh, well, like Isla Dawn's listening. Cause I, I was just gonna keep beating the mess out of her. Oh shit! But that super kick though, that was me. The challenger eating up some damage. Fire making that look almost effortless. She misses the see. Ava Fire looks convincing to me. Showcase that strength. Flat out power. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Launching. She Ooh. comes up empty. I was going to have a good combination ready for it. Cycle. Driving the foot into the jaw. Ah, oh, foot right in the throat. Brutal. Ah, uh, quick response to Fire's offense. Going forward again. Standing Spanish Fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. God damn it. There we go. Uh -oh. Might have wasted too much time, but screw it. Still work for shot. Some of this. Avoiding contact. Caught the leg and makes them pay. Flipping sent on attack. Fry quick to counter. Come on, Fry. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Another reversal. Eye for eye here. Oh. Look at this slingshot cross body. 
I love how everybody got a, got, got a slingshot dive or an outside dive. And the explosion occurring ringside. to a disadvantage now. Yeah, Alba has to plot a way to get back into this. Yeah, I've, the I've, I told you this tag team is just being an ass kick. The ref still counting might be a count out. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this is right. Oh, come on, seriously? <laughs> Dawn came straight into the ring just to get hit with a mean ass elbow. Ain't that some shit? Alright, let's try to finish this match off. Psycho. Dawn with a nice turnaround. Quick back elbow. Detours that offense. All right, Carly Prime now hitting her finisher. Face first. That was awesome. We could have a new champion. And we see the champ shoulder. All right, this should be it. Please, because this match is kind of, kind of bad. Now it's a test of will. This is just brute power. Release German. There's a tag. She manages to get control. Oh, oh shit. I doubt the nice drop kid. The challenger. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Come on, attack. Psycho. Looking wobbly in the corner. Placing their opponent in position for the second row moonsault. She has her target way All right. They're stepping up now. This match is getting a little rough now. Uh, this is why personally I don't like tag team matches. I could have ended this shit sooner. Now don't get me wrong, I, I like real life tag, tag team matches. It's just the end the video game tag team matches I can I can do without honestly. Psycho. From the top. 
Oh, that was a quality swamp time. Brian, why are you just standing there? What the fuck? What kind of, what kind of tag team partner are you? You just stand there and watch me get in God damn, they are not letting me breathe in this one. Good shit, bro. Get her up for this. Hit her with the Spanish fly. And this match is done. Please let it be done. Alright, that dragged on for a bit, honestly. That did. <laughs> but we finally finished that match up. And we now have new women tag team champions of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime. Team Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. I'll say they, they do look good with the tag titles, though. But nice. That that's that's a nice little side story right there. Team name. I was thinking Psycho Prime. Prime Psycho. Prime Psychos. Prime Psychos. That's a better hmm. name. Possible. We'll workshop it. Ah, <sighs> gold suits you, Sally. When we started down this road, you looked like you were about ready to call it a day. Now you're on fire. Maybe I was. Kev messed me up, but she also taught me something. Brutality! No. Resilience. I'm more unbreakable than I thought. Hmm. We got the titles. We can go where we want. You're thinking Cap and Rhea. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I don't think that's a good idea. Me too. Thing is, I have this feeling those two are not in a long-term partnership. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy watching them tear each other apart. Smart move, Sally. For now? For now. Yeah, because I, I, I don't want to rip the titles away from them. All right, nice. Now we got Carly Prime also for my for the my faction. That's good. That's good. Travis, nice. Give me a challenge. I've Give seen me a one-on-one -on -one thing. Of brutality during my time in the square circle, but you take it to a whole new level. <laughs> Impressive stuff. But a little wisdom from an old timer. People will start to see you as the one to take out to prove themselves. If you want to send a message. Take out a newbie in the PC. Baseball okay. bats. No DQ. Really lay it on. Trust me, everyone will think twice before stepping up to you. You know what, Travis? That makes a lot of sense. So we're going to go ahead and do that then. We're going to knock some people down before they start getting an idea that they can knock me down. Okay. 
Donna Matrix. Uh, God damn, Donna Matrix elbowed the shit out. I mean, show to check me. I mean. Okay. So we have a short but powerful person. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, come on now. What is going on here? I'm literally bigger than this girl, and yet she's lifting me up like nothing. What the fuck? I Man, I respect the newbie given all she got, but goddamn. need to get up. Definitely need to fix this. Alright, this is trippy. How how is she how has she got me already like damaged? Come on Don. Come on Don. Fix this. There we go. I didn't die. Sheesh. Straight onto the top of the head. That has to hurt. Come on, Don. Let's finish this match off. Oh, she reversed the signature. Okay. This newbie might definitely be something else. Come on. God damn it, Cap. Let's put the whooping on real quick. There we go. Yeah, this girl's gonna have concussion and a half. <laughs> your ass back in the ring we need to end this match now yeah you ain't reversing this bitch man that newbie was showing a lot of fight but Dawn had to show why she's dynamic, bro. If she didn't do that, there'll be no point of her being dynamic.
Oh boy, look like something with Dominic down the line. But we'll come back to that. Let me go ahead and get, get her a little bit stepped up. Troy, let's see what your ugly ass want. There she is, my favorite superstar. Why are you lying? What now? First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? I mean, if you're saying a pay-per-view match, I'm with it. What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with a big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. Nice. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought maybe if you had a reason to like me. It would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. <laughs> Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? Let's do it. <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? As long as you stop sniveling. <laughs> I... We'll try. Said so I will try. <laughs> you better try harder, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, this definitely gives another reason to play the women's story a little bit more too. The fact that like if we're doing if they're doing all of this for just one to learn through Rhea, it's definitely interesting to figure out how well would she be if she learned from someone else. So that definitely is a thought in the future. Hey, there she is. Ooh, uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. Of what message? That due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the earth itself. God, I wish I could put Troy through that catering table right behind him. Right where the Slim Jims are. It'll be very nice. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure. Her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. Your hands are going to be broken. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna see where the hell did you come from, Simon. I thought you, I thought you was out in the, I thought you was asleep. But hey, I see you welcome yourself back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're still, we're still in the brutality phase of Matoda, but we helped Psycho Sally and oh, and Carter Prime become tag team champions. So there's an up to it. <laughs> Heard you got bumped. Crazy the way some people cater to those way past their prime. Exactly. I demand to settle this with Molly in the ring, but management would just cave to fans and their dumb love of legends and find out a way to keep me out of it. Typical. There are only so many seats on, at the table. In my experience, when someone refused to leave, you guys showed them the door, legend or not. That's a very good point. So I guess we're attacking her. Hey, honestly, I don't care. I could be two viewers and I'll still stream like crazy. Two, four, one. I do the streaming because I enjoy it, honestly. I honestly enjoy it. Plus, I like playing my video games on stream. Minneapolis for legend and three time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming. Everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one. What the hell? 
Ooh. What was that all about? Well, damn, that's some that that's a message right Can there, Molly. Yeah, at the end of the day, when it, if you're if you're someone that's streaming gaming, I always say to myself like, I rather just sit here and stream something I enjoy playing, than just play something I I don't care for. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was disrespectful of of, of my of, of Matoda, but it's not her fault. If you give her an offer to be somewhere and there's nothing going on, it's like, what can you do? Nice. All right, so look like I'm I definitely influenced the match coming through. Thanks, Randy. And now Justine's pissed. <laughs> Don't you look awfully proud of yourself? I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. Ugh, this is exactly the kind of free-for-all indie nonsense I tried to beat out of you back in the PC. Why would Randy hit an RKO on, Mat on Matoda though? Randy Orton was the one who told Matoda to do it. If if all, somebody should should RKO Randy. This yes, is you're Randy's not as fault. Good of a mentor as you thought you were. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? Maybe. The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE fans are dumb enough to still want to watch some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I am happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Okay. Oh, so I can make it a one-on-one -on -one match or a tag team match. We'll keep it a one-on-one -on -one because I, I don't feel like doing a tag team match right now. Cody finished this story. Please finish her career. <laughs> Tell Molly, I'll happily ruin another one of I'll her see what I can do. <laughs> she wants. I'll let her know, and we'll see. Molly's a lot tougher when she knows you're coming. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm pretty sure Molly's going to get her ass pulled fucking with me. But let's head to the match. Our truth got more than enough time nowadays. Our truth is now a tag team champion. Shit, I'm, I'm actually happy about that. He came out of left field, but I feel like he deserves it. Not only that, he, he got his, he now got it through wrestling. One of the most brutal superstars in WWE history. Is anyone going to stand up to this bully? Not if they know what's good for him, Saxton. Do you want to make her mad? I sure don't. Well, goddamn, just straight assaulting the camera. I hope that entrance is in there, honestly. I don't know after that sailor outfit. I think she burnt it. I, I agree with her. Definitely get rid of that stupid sailor outfit. That shit was stupid. I kind of wanted to get her back in her own gear, but it's like She's under the story, I'm stuck under this around. gear. her cape to the curb and found her true calling grinding people into the mat Perhaps all right that's enough seeing molly holly let's get this molly match going i don't hate molly holly but eh, i don't know i, I never cared about it much obviously the rko out of nowhere with a cheap shot oh you're just upset because it happened right next to you my life flashed before my eyes Corey. She ain't well shit. If the legend wants to get in the ring, I might as well help out the legend. Ooh. Okay, okay. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Stops the kick. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Come on, legend. 
to the kidneys. Golly. He dropped, and Molly Holly gave an opening, and it was capitalized on. She can withstand Oh, that's why she will she reversed the float over. Okay, she okay. Responds with a Molly definitely stepping up. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Come on, Don. Molly looking mighty confident, not backing down from this fight. Oh, Molly caught by the counter. All tied up, nowhere to go. And Chicky oh, Nandos. <laughs> well, sometimes you gotta take that glow a little seriously. Honestly, thinking about it, I should change her hair color to match the outfit. But I don't know how much longer I'm still doing this gimmick. This in the game in a while. Can she capitalize? Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. Great reaction from Holly. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. See an answer for every move attempted. Big shots being. Oh, come on, that was in the green. Molly Holly had a simple like rear naked choke that she'll do. She does break out of it, but has the damage been done? A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Wow, that hurt. Drops the knee. Holly avoids that one. DDT. Her wants a charm. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I said, personally for me, like I don't, I don't hate Molly Holly. It's just she's somebody who I never found too much interest in. Like I don't know, she came off too average a lot of time. But don't get me wrong, the superhero Molly Holly was probably the most entertaining she ever was. Her and Super Rosie and Hurricane, fucking hilarious, bro. Holly's hopes are waning here. Yeah, Holly needs to plot a way to get back into this. All right, but well, let's end this now. Let this legend retire peacefully. Two count breaks the count. She oh, she didn't want to go. Down. I tried. I tried. She wants to get on up, this. Molly. That running, that dynamic knee strike, over. Oh, Jay Cargill is a future DLC. Um, out of their future DLC packs that are coming out over time, Jay Cargill is listed under one of the list of future DLCs. So, unfortunately, we gotta wait a couple of months before we get Jay Cargill. But trust me, I, I'm, I've also wanted to put Jade in this game as well. But I feel I can wait. I can wait on her. Yeah, they I say the packs do cost a little bit of money. I, I don't remember how much separately because usually when I get this game, I always buy the season pass. So since I got the season pass, whenever the DLC drop, I'll be able to just get them automatically. I always recommend if you're somebody who's going to play WB 2K, that's probably one of the only games personally to me I will buy a season pass for because you can get all the DLC and not to buy multiple season passes, just one. I hate the games that make you buy three, four season season passes to have everything. It, it's it's way too too much micromanaging in video games, bro. They really got cut out on the microtransactions. Tonight, I proved a point about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them. We adore them. We hold banquets in their honor. But at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE who refuse to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. 
Do they care that others are waiting for their chance to sit down? Do they care? Very weird promo, but it kind of works. No. Let's see. Let's they just sit Funny there. part, that's the same pack I got. I got that edition. And it does. It includes all the DLCs coming out and everything, so you don't have to worry about buying them. Just gotta wait for them to be available. And then just download them and you're good. What the heck? Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Beth Phoenix definitely was not taking that like shit lying down. This right now. But yeah, I was say if you have that, if you have that one, you pretty much are all good. Yo, Beth Phoenix is someone who I definitely was a fan of. Like Beth Phoenix was was definitely a highlight for the women's division. Like now, the guys, I felt like she was the version of China that was done correctly. Hey, Adam Copeland picked out a good woman. I'll definitely say that. Shit, I definitely, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't mind be, being with um that Phoenix. Trapped and striking with watch the knee to the body over and over. Drop kick hits the mark. Unfortunately, I gotta beat on that Phoenix. You gotta do what I gotta do. You gotta understand. Oh, that'll give you a whiplash. I mean, if I had a choice of, of either or, like, in front of me, I I, I think I will purposely go go with, like, Thea Hill. Just just because that ball of energy would be more entertaining. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Oh, shit. Incoming! Oh, now this game real. Oh, right to the leg. I mean, yeah, so. I mean, that's legal. Victory roll, pinning combination, super kick to the face. I mean, well, yeah, we we gotta remember. Uh, they said it in, in the commentary, even in this game. Dia Hell is technically one of the people that came directly from high school into the game. She's and so the fact of her being 20 is it's hilarious. <laughs> Look, you know I was gonna say something stupid, but it was bound to happen. <laughs> but no nah, no nah, like if she if you're coming straight from high school and you're learning all straight from NXT, well, yeah, most likely they're gonna wait for her to come straight straight into like around like what 20 to before throwing her in the ring. Oh relax, I'm not the type of person. I say at the end of the day I, I couldn't I couldn't be with anybody that's like 20 21 like I feel like for me personally I'm 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 in my 30s so I I gotta fuck with somebody that's like literally like 25 or older like I, I couldn't I couldn't do it honestly I don't have the patience for it <laughs> tough position to be caught in here I don't Holy see them getting up shit. after that and with good reason that brawl had shades of downtown Austin at 2 a.m. like I said I'm not that type of person trust me I'm not I, I can't <laughs> You gotta, you gotta be 25 or older for, for me to fuck with you. Like, I can't I can't go any younger than that. I don't know. I'm about to say, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot, I'll shoot in the wild. Let's say we're all like 23. I don't know. I don't, I don't know Simon. I can only just throw a guess. Damn it, my phone's not charging. Look, Simon, I don't know anything of you, Simon. I just know you're a person who comes to the stream, which, I, which I'm cool with, all right? It's not like I'm going to know off the top of my head. Just... All right, but let's see where we're here with. All right, so it looks like Beth now wants a match against me after the after everything, and she wants a tables match. So I'm in the tables match against Beth Phoenix. All right, let's get it. Uh -oh. 
just gotta help turn the box, Excuse can me. you? I'm just fighting for what's mine. That wasn't a criticism. Just remember, you're facing someone who's forgotten more about wrestling than half the roster's ever known. Now that you've got her angry, make sure you finish the job. Oh yeah, that's easy, Rhea. Not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make her dream of retirement. Yeah. Show the glamour's on, it's time for her to get glamour gone. <laughs> Good one. And that's the plan. Glamour gone. Wow. I will say though, I, I don't know why, I feel like this part of the story in my rights feels a little dragged out. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. It's Cap. I, I feel like this part of the story is very dragged out a bit. The following contest is a tables match. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb Dynamic Matoda. Just look at her, Cap doesn't walk. She kicks the earth like it owes her money. She's a role model. She's a force of brutality and intimidation who stabs her friends in the back, Corey. I definitely get tired of the animation. Just throws the cameraman and laughs at him. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see how the Glamazon looks in this game. I haven't got a look of her this year. I mean, the backstage, she looks pretty good. Glamazon, and she is always ready for war. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Yo, Beth Phoenix is a badass, bro. And the fact she 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 still looks like this after all that year, after yeah, all those years, crazy. Looking to prove that she is the one and only Glamazon. Man, look at those piercing eyes. The Glamazon is on a seek and destroy mission tonight. Got to drop her through her table. On this industry, and I wouldn't be surprised if she used a table to leave a real mark on Cal's face in tonight's tables match. Hey, if someone's not going to pass the torch, you're well within your rights to snuff it out. Looks like a battle between tradition and progress in the ring and here at the commentary table. I'll say if you're she trying to look for, like, the baddest. Not so fast. Oh, whatever. The hair don't look that bad. The, the hair you looks unique on both of them. I feel like if you are trying to call yourself one of the baddest wrestlers on on the roster, especially the female roster, that Phoenix is definitely somebody to try to prove that against. And I'm trying to think, is she like the, technically the second woman to step into a men's Royal Rumble and actually showcase? Honestly, I don't know what you call that, to be honest. I was about to say, I, wouldn't, I would have no clue. Bring that table in. It seems like she's learned to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something to plan with this. I'm waiting for you to get back in this ring. Again. How's that for a counter? I feel like if I feel like if I, if I had more beef, she probably would have the spear. I want to dive, but I keep trying to remember the, the tables out there. Moves outside. What's the plan here? 
Well, it's no DQ, so I might as well throw in this chair. Plus, you gotta show that brutality. One wicked attack after another. Drop kick right to the brutality. Looks like they're zeroing right in on the leg. Best way to keep your opponent off their vertical base. A second gut wrench suplex. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Two boots to the mush. I, I swear, I, the one thing I love with this game, I love they added in the fact of throwing the weapons directly at your opponent. I like that shit. I don't know why. I, I just do. And gun. I swear that the, the table match is always the most stretched out match that can be ended in seconds just, just like that. There we go. Nice. I mean, that table match was much easier to play through than I thought it was going to be. But then again, table matches are always so easy in this game. Like, I, I played pretty much almost every WB game there is ever since um, No Mercy. And since then, it's like, it just starts to feel easier just the more I play. Hey, Fanny. What you got for me, Fanny? You can dish out punishment like nobody's business, but you know what would be downright scary and totally mind blowing? Imagine if you Pretty also much. showed the world that you're just as tough as nails and can take it too. That's the kind of stuff that would leave everyone's jaw on the floor. Oh my god, you should totally have a last woman standing match against Ivy Nile. I mean, I. I'm not gonna say Ivy Nile is easy, but I don't feel like she's convincing enough to to last a, to last in a last woman standing match. I I just don't see it. I just don't see it. They should make the program that you need to finish her to crash me. Honestly, yeah, I think that would probably be the only way to really make it technically a little easy, a little diff, a little bit more difficult because it's like. If you're strong enough to just use the carry carry um grapple and just throw them through the table, which I just did, the match is too damn easy. Shit, a lot of times it's literally just you could accidentally go through the table and lose a tables match. But the thing is, it's, it's realistic though, because that that's what happened. A lot of people forget there was a matchup that Big Show had a tables match with, I think, John Cena. And all he did was step backwards. He stepped on the table and broke it and won. Well, John Cena won, but yeah. Oh, it was Cody? Okay, okay, my fault, my fault. I don't know why I was thinking it was Cena. But yeah, it was exactly that match. He was about to drop him on the turn, like off the turnbuckle. He stepped backwards, he caught his step, but he ended up stepping on the table and lost the match from just that alone. He didn't need to do nothing else. <laughs> I that that's that definitely something that bothers me with table matches. You can literally end the match out by literally anything whatsoever. <laughs> Here comes the pit bull of the women's division. An endless supply of strength. And Ivy Nile is definitely somebody who I'm, I want to see like develop more in, in in the WWE. I feel like she got called up too early though. Maybe it's me. I feel like she got called up a little too early. But she is showing out though, so I mean that's a good thing at the end of the day. Because if you're coming to the main roster and you show out on the main roster, then you're pretty much doing your job. Match tenacity and a deep desire to win. Here we go, folks. The last one all right, Ivy. Is all about your limits mentally. Oh, shit. Okay, Ivy was ready for me. I'm 
take a mental beat down over a physical one any day. I'm used to those. It's like any night working with you, Saxton. Oh, man. Oh, Kravat sleeper is in. Oh, oh, word. She throwing me into this now? Where'd she get a finisher off the start? Create space and separation. Okay, Ivy. Into the corner. This can't be good. All right, no, nah, no, nah, I can't let Ivy get it, get, get a win over me. Oh, come on now. How long is she going to lay there? I mean, at least the ref ain't counting, but goddamn. Look, it's a rough start. That's all it is. Just a rough start. Let me get over it. Lights out. Ivy steers clear there. Dawn. Get your ass up. What's the plan here? She's ready to do some serious damage, courtesy of that steel chair. Ow. <laughs> I was trying to get out the way. Escape just in time. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And running. Each other's. Ivy is whooping my ass right now. Things can go wrong now. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Come on, Don. Get the hell up. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Uh oh. Dark there we go. There. She possibly is the new nemesis. <laughs> if, she, if she can whoop my ass like like this, then yeah, I get so. <laughs> Come on, Ivy. You had such a great start off against me. Oh, okay, almost. Uh oh, this is not gonna look pretty. Submission being applied. Now this submission I always likes. It was always always thought it was like real unique to do. <laughs> Alright, Simon, take it easy, man. It's always good to have, have you around in the stream, bro. This ass whoop is for you, Simon. But there's more to come. <laughs> a second gut red suplex. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. She's taking a beating here. Yeah, but all that matters is being able to stay on your feet. Oh, on target. A steady stream of moves taking out Nile. Uh, he's got to find Ooh, a way okay, to put okay. his best foot forward here. This match ain't over yet. Wait, how, how'd she catch me with that? She literally picked me up off the ground. How am I supposed to know she didn't catch me with that? Get your ass up, get your ass up. And up kick. Stay down. Don't get up, Ivy. Stay down. Come on, the referee was counting. And Nile is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Ivy got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. She heads into the ring. She rises to stop the count. She's not finished. Not just yet. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Now it's a done dot. What's coming next? Oh, I didn't make punk hand on the ass. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Yeah, Ivy wasn't going to hang in there long. She had a strong fight, but it wasn't going to be the end of it.
It's too dynamic, bro. That's all it is. This one was tough for Ivy Nile. She just couldn't overcome this fight. I ain't gonna lie, this music I got in the background is, 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 is jumping. I know it's not that loud on the stream, but if I could, trust me, I would. Nice. All right, so we finished all the other stories. So now we're in the next story. Oh, I can unlock a motion for an entrance. Oh, so finishing the story, I can keep the entrance that I have here. So. I mean, I could rock with her being healed completely from this point. That would be nice. All right, let's fit, let's get this submission all the way up. All right, let's finish up this story with with um Rhea. Let's see what's up with Dom. Him and his terrible hey, voice acting. I'm in a bit of trouble. Think you could help me out? Is it something? Oh shit. I'm kidding. Besides, I'm no snitch. What's up? Rhea was going to have my back in my match with Johnny Gargano, but Mommy had some other business come up. Think you'd be able to be in my corner? Supporting you? I could, but I've also got a lot of respect for Rhea. I may call the shots around here, but Poppy doesn't cross boundaries like that. Don't make it weird. <laughs> this was Rhea's idea. Don't make it rude. Don't make it weird. It's Rhea's idea. <laughs> All right, then. But you don't get it twisted. Just because I'm in your corner doesn't mean I'm going to be doing the heavy lifting in your match. I understand. You better. All right, cool. I'm not kidding about this. You roll with me. I'm going to make sure you don't embarrass us. Yes, sir. That's more like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Who's Dom's Dom? <laughs> Yo, WB is reckless for that one. Who's Dom's Dom? Why would... Why you... <laughs> hey, yo. That's hilarious, yo. <laughs> that's fucked up. I mean, Dom... Dom nigga does act like a little bitch, so I mean... Kinda makes sense. <laughs> Dominic has a new woman by his side tonight. Hey Cole, don't say it like that. I ain't trying to beef with Bria. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty. If anything, Cap has proven herself to be even more brutal than Rhea Ripley as of late. Yeah. I'm not sure about that, but it looks like the captain will be master and commander for the evening. Sorry, I gotta pick out my beard. I mean, I do gotta shave though, honestly. I purposely have to shave for like a good week or two. I will say I do like the animation of the gate for Dominic. But it does look like they pretty much like gave him his entrance that he has with the group entrance. Yeah, they gave him the one that he has for the group entrance because it's like, who are you lifting the ropes up for like that, bro? Rhea lit a fire under Dom that led him to gold. We're about to see if Cap can do the same. Oh, this is a title match? Okay, that makes it a little bit more understandable why you want me in the corner. Okay, I ain't mad at that whatsoever. Johnny Wrestling has become Johnny Raw. And his opponent <laughs> representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. 
I hope I hope Johnny gets better luck being on SmackDown because like I hate the fact how he is part of WWE main roster now, but he's not getting the same love he was getting when he was with NXT. It's NXT, everybody loved Johnny Gargano. I still fucks with Johnny Gargano too. It's just I don't know. He does get that same love on the main roster that he, that he would get in NXT. So I do hope that change around over time. Something special happens. Whenever All right, he's I'm gonna be back. I don't think I'm gonna have to do too much. Let me get, get myself a water real quick. Dominic Mysterio can hold his own with anyone, but I wonder if he'll be lacking without Rhea Ripley by his side. As far as replacements go, you could do worse than the captain. Especially with the amount of intensity we've seen from Cap lately. I think Dominic is in good hands. Snapmare takedown. Oh my! Single leg drop kick. So I have to impress mommy and take it to Johnny Gargano. Face first. Wait, am I Dom? Oh shit, I'm Dom. I thought I was I thought I was um, I was um shit. I thought I was dynamic. I didn't know I was dominant. Okay, well, since I fucked up already in the start, I gotta help him through here. I bet I could do it. I could do it. I never played as Dominic Mysterio, though. Not, not, not as if I didn't want to, but just I never had a reason to. I mean, honestly, playing playing these games and up over time, playing as any character really isn't that difficult. You just gotta figure out like what's their best attributes in this role. Really. Dom's a high flyer mainly, so it's like he's a little bit of a high flyer, a tiny bit of a technician. So I just gotta think of that playing as um Dominic. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting more damage to the leg. Absolutely brutal, ruthless, and repeated impacts like that will Ugh. weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Oh, cutsy! All right. Reverses. Here comes the splash, and he hits the official. Oh, that should be DQ. Like hit, hit, hit the woman ref. That should be DQ. Steel chair. Face first into the chair. surprised if they're seeing little cartoon birds after that one gentlemen oh my while the ref's so down i'm just going to take full advantage of this reversing his fortunes any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage but i don't think oh shit Johnny Gargano with a pair no of damn it got caught in the comeback rolls through and a kick connects Ooh. I forgot the long guard was his signature. Like, I remember him doing it all the time, but I forgot it was his signature. He's able to beat a two count, not even letting on, the ref get to the Okay, what well, what is his moves? I forgot. What what does he have for what? Okay, six one nine, three amigos for signature, frog splash for finisher. Alright, bet, got it. I think we know what's coming next. Look out! Oh no! Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. Take advantage of this ass with the Samoan Dominic. Start off to the move. Okay. Come on, Dominic. Yeah, definitely get up real fast. Oh, good day. I'm getting that piston. Johnny Gargano looks like he's really struggling under this pressure. He just got his finished. I don't 
Come on down. We gotta impress mommy ringside. I mean, poppy. Whatever. And get back on the right side of this battle. Needs to get off his back and fight. Dominic stepping up to the top. Come on down. Get this frog splash. This should do it. This gotta do it. Didn't fucking do it. Johnny to kick out there. I think there's still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. I really wonder what is Dominic going to do once Judgment Day is split apart. That's something I'm trying to wonder. JD and Finn comes off to me as like they would be a, t a good tag team, honestly, for like a good while. But I do want Finn Balor to enter back into the world title picture. I feel like he would fit. The world title picture currently of today. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh no, I'm near the refs. I'm, I mean, I'm near the ropes. I'm near the ropes. Ref, ref. Reach for the ropes, my nigga. It's literally to your right, Dominic. God damn it. He needs to find an escape route. Nice. Lacking his usual instincts here. No way. High risk. That old slingshot always works. Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. Oh. All right, while he's stunned. Come on, come on. Let's get back in the ring while he's stunned. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Yes, yeah, hit that Dominic three amigos. I still say to this day, Dominic is just being is just being built to be today's Eddie Guerrero. He's not even being built really to be today's Rey Mysterio. I am totally fine with this. I am all with it. Well, let's see. Can I get a victory with this? Oh shit! I got a victory of the three amigos. Okay, I'll take it. I always feel like it is possible. I mean, it is three suplexes, so I mean, it is possible. Alright, but Don played very well. I didn't even know he was bleeding. Dominic collecting the win. Dominic was dead set on getting the W. They'll be telling tales about this one from Alcatraz to Guantanamo Bay. Good shit, Dominic. Mommy and Papi is proud. It's still so weird to say that way. Beat up on Candice, Candice um, LeRae again. Oh, yeah. That's, that's definitely going to be fun. I hope tag, tag, tag team-wise I could come out as Rhea and Dom. Saxton, do you want to make her mad? I sure don't. You know what's funny? I actually want to see what are they planning on doing, like with that with that special shot of Liv Morgan and Dom and Dom Mysterio coming out of the back room together. Like, I really wonder, is that going to build to something? Because that would be a little interesting. A lesson in brutality is about to be taught. Nice, we got a nice mixed tag match coming up. I don't know which of these two I can't stand less. And their opponents, the team of Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano. It's 
It's great to see a mixed tag team who have similar philosophies when it comes to competition. And that's what this match is all about. These two superstars are now carrying their spirit of competition together. I feel like if Johnny Gargano could get the crowd to really like be behind him a lot more, I feel like he could be convincing to be one of those underdog um, WB champions. Like, it's a long shot saying it, but it's like, it feels believable, honestly. All right, We're taking on Mr. and Miss Wrestling. This is going to be like a double date gone haywire. I love it. Uh, I think Rhea Ripley would object to you saying that the captain and Dominic are on a double date. I don't know about everyone's personal life. All I know is we're going to have two great teams in a great matchup. Great oh, yeah. I'm just going to destroy Candace. That's all it's going to be. To the midsection double underhook. The old butterfly. Lung blower. Good luck breathing after that. Delivers the Come on, Candace LeRae. I whooped your ass in that damage. Iron Woman's match. I just remembered that. And this my rise, we had an Iron so Woman match, and it was like, bro, that was slaughter. On the Fucking slaughter. Down. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Hey, you can't do that. And what you mean I can't do that? I just did it, Byron. Cheap, it's legal. Candace now undertaking a barrage. Candace needs to find a way to grab the reins. Nice try. Didn't she work. Shuts it and reverses it. Oh yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring it. Just Her straight disrespect right here. Practically never ending blows. Coming at full force here. Ooh. Shifts that to her favor. Brilliant countering by both competitors. They got the leg. A leg Work drop the leg across out. the knee. Very effective. She has to figure something out for this. She's got to reestablish herself back into the match now. Screen hard. Placed upon the left knee. You can see that each strike is that right, right. their opponent's energy. Screw it. Let's end this. Oh, God. Shot block. Play and oh, the shit. And a is lifted before one. Incredible power to kick out at just one. Ooh. Come on, get her back in the ring. Get her back in the ring. Get her back in the ring. Quick before Johnny gets up. She throws her back in. Ah, oh, the bitch. Let's go ahead, put her in this, put her in the move, going for greatness. Leg locked in here. Oh man! And going for greatness got the job done. Is it possible that Dominic Mysterio has more chemistry with Poppy than Mommy, Rhea Ripley? No, I wouldn't say that too loudly, Saxton. Yeah, definitely don't say that shit too loudly. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be Dominic on a pole match popping up soon or something. That would be hilarious. Custody for Dominic for a second time in a row. I'm not one to mince words or waste time getting to the point. Not when there's so much destruction and chaos to bring to WWE. I made an example out of my last victim and I'll make an example of anyone who stands in my way. Turn that up a little bit. Of anyone who stands in Bappy's way. Oh shit.
because she's the daddy. <laughs> I never have. <laughs> hey yo, that is the funniest shit in the world. She actually made him say that. <laughs> oh shit, that's actually that wow, that actually woke me up a bit a little bit. That's hilarious. Rhea gotta be pissed now, because that's just random. <laughs> Oh boy. Now some shit is about to hit the fan now. Thanks for taking care of my business while I was gone. Didn't I always tell you Dom was something special? Glad you two finally got a chance to work together. He was a bit of a brat, but uh, I understand what you see in him. I hope you know better than to take stock in what people are saying online. Of course I do. Besides, if you did want to take him off my hands, you're still in charge around here. I'm not someone who gets mad over something as silly as petty jealousy. I respect it. Good. Then I'll expect you to be out there for my match against Caden Carter tonight. Delighted. I'll bring the chaos, Poppy. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like hearing Rhea Ripley say that, though. I kind of like hearing Rhea Ripley say that, though. Hey, yo. You talked to Rhea? I did, and we're good. She knows her place. I wouldn't believe Rhea if I was you. She's up to something. Hopefully she's not fool enough to try to start something. But it never hurts to be more aware. I'll be on my guard. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, Dom's afraid. <laughs> This is like the third time you came back, Simon. I fucks with it, but what's going on, bro? What, you can't fall asleep or something? <laughs> came back came back for the best parts. <laughs> oh man. It's Cap here to unleash her wrath upon the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. I understand. Sometimes it's hard to fall asleep at times. But I do respect that, that you choose to come back to the stream if you can't fall asleep. Cap has proven herself to be one of the most brutal superstars in WWE Who history. Knows, maybe maybe Dawn will make you fall asleep since you don't like Dawn so point? much. <laughs> Not if they know what's good for him, Saxton. Do you want to make her mad? I sure don't. I still love this entrance. I love the fact you're just mushing the shit out of the camera. Well, this is the my rise, so I mean, I kind of got to play with Rhea. I mean, not Rhea, um, Dawn. But, the school yeah. of hard knocks who knows? Is in session. I mean, the name ain't that long. Dawn Dynamic Matoda. I mean, I don't know. I felt like she was one of the people I could make work Kane that has the, the three named syllables. You know, the LA Knights, the, Ma the Maxwell Jacob Freeman's Dawn Dynamic Matoda. I feel like it works. My favorite out of the tag team. To Mexico to incorporate Lucha Libre into her style. And now she's putting it all to good use in WWE. Dawn Dynamic Supersonic Ultimate Undisputed Tribal Visionary Matoda. <laughs> now, that, now that's a long ass name. That's a long ass name. Carter Didn't do it. <laughs> that's a long ass name. Oh, I gotta see that again. Dawn Dynamic Supersonic undis Ultimate Undisputed Tribal Visionary Matoda. God damn, that shit has a tongue twister in the middle of it. Caden is an egg, and she is in a battle with the frying pan and the fire. Oh yeah, I, I can see it now. Carter's just going to just going to get ass beat, beat, and then Rio's going to pop up in the middle of it. Um, the fork. Sorry, I thought that went all the way through. This, this may end it right here, right now. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am not a fan of Canadian Destroyers being a normal pass-by move. A Canadian Destroyer should be a finisher only move. It's, it's only right. The move is believable enough. It looks effective enough. Why not have it a finisher only? Every person doing it left and right just devalues the move on its own. That's just me. Good luck breathing after that. Knee drop connects. And Carter was the one who got cut down there. Well, that there was, was perfect. Some force on that move. How are they going to hear after this match? Just never had a chance to block any of those. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Knee right to the face. Dodged right on cue. Oh, a flurry of... Oh, there we go. Hard Irish whip into the corner. Bobby is certainly teaching Caden Carter a lesson she'll never forget. Caden getting our ass beat. Officials <laughs> separating them here. Vicious hey, shot to the throat. Go. Ref forgets how long Don Dynamic is. <laughs> Hold on, it looks like Rhea Ripley's got some brass knuckles, and the referee has no idea. My girl, no question as to whether this superstar will resort to cheating. Oh, there we go. Rhea was not taking that shit normally. <laughs> Maybe Rhea didn't like Dom getting so close to her ally. General Soul News are finishers at the same time. And now she's showing her what true brutality. I mean, yeah, honestly. Like there there is a bunch of moves that are like pretty much finishers, but they get used as like normal moves. I don't know. I feel like just certain ones work just right. I don't know. It just happens like that. Uh oh. Both women fighting over Dom. That that definitely has to be a rough scene. Apparently Dom has no intention of stopping her. And Rhea is reclaiming oh, her shit. status as the alpha in this relationship. God damn. Her head off with those brass knuckles. God damn, she got knocked the fuck out. Corner anytime soon. <laughs> okay. We, no one touches Dom Dom, I guess. <laughs> Once again, the age-old question has been answered. Who gets custody of Dominic Mysterio? Again. And this time, the answer, Rhea Ripley. I mean, well, it looks like it's going to be a good way to end out this part of the story, taking out Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Especially after stealing Dominic. God damn. <laughs> yeah, mommy definitely, definitely for the, for the win right there. Sorry, DDM. You were a good poppy, but I've always been more of a mama's mommy's boy. Like I said, I don't get mad. I get even and we're done. <laughs> it, it had to take it to stealing Dominic in order for her to change to, to have that happen. That's crazy. So how's it going? Didn't really expect to run into you here was kind of just planning on waiting for my flight, listening to my book on tape. I know I haven't been in touch lately. Yep, that's definitely what's making this awkward. Barely. Not how mean and brutal you've been. But did you see what Rhea did to me? Can you believe that? I do follow the product, and yes. But did you really expect to steal Dom without any consequences? I didn't steal anyone. Do you have any idea what it's like to have someone you trust betray you? You mean kind of like you did with Psycho Sally? Facts. That's not my point. Or that rookie Carly Prime? Not helping. <laughs> or literally anyone you've come into contact with recently? I know you've got these big time issues against the WWE universe, but you should really stop and look at what you've become. Someone with striking fashion sense? You know there are more colors than black, right? <laughs> Black's not technically a color. Yo, not my real. point. <laughs> I know it's not. I'm attempting to diffuse the situation. <sighs> Honestly, you could stand to diffuse this whole situation. Brutality has a time and place, but maybe it's not all the time and everywhere. Yeah. It's possible you have a point, but I also can't let Rhea's betrayal stand. Well... I guess you don't have to drop the brutality right away. After all, 
sometimes soul searching takes time. You might not find anything in that dark soul of yours until you really want me to get rid of the glow that goddamn bag. <laughs> Found our walking I lava ant lamp. No, just to get it up, keeping it longer now, just because you said that. I got, I was fine with the Naomi comparisons, but walking lava lamp, all right, that's too far. <laughs> now I'm a, you know what, better yet, I'm gonna make it brighter now. <laughs> I'm gonna make that shit light up. <laughs> oh, man. Mommy's walking solo tonight. But Poppy not letting her go without She got her blue back. These two are going to tear each other apart. We have a developing situation backstage, and it looks like this is going to head to blows. That'll turn I'm going to make the Pyro out. jealous, but I'm going to do Ah, oh, saw it coming. Oh, oh, I got to so first see if I get through Rhea Ripley, though. That's, that's going to be the hard part. Over. Look Come on, Dawn. God damn, knee. Rhea's whooping my ass. Come she on, Dawn. Clear of that one. Shit, I, will, I ran into that boot. Okay, this is starting off bad. Big boot to the gut. A clubbing forearm. Oh, damn. Ooh, slam with authority. So, so, yeah, I hope your night's going well. <laughs> oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Looks like she has other plans here. Oh, yeah, I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. All right, let's get a chair because, yeah, Rhea's putting my ass. Up. Why are you just flinched? Chicken wing under hook. Uh oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, my fault. My fault. For me, it's, it's slowly turning into night. Oh, my gosh. What impact. Oh, man. An agile escape. DDT. I mean, do you have work in the morning? The close line. I would, I would definitely say that would make it worse. I'll hopefully, you got a day Ripley off or something. With her opponent up on her shoulders, electric chair. Tear into the face buster. Mm. My girl literally kissed the pavement right there. She literally kissed the curb. Rhea Ripley with the riptide. I'm amazed I'm not knocked out. Because, my God, I should be knocked out by now. Oh, oh right to the kidneys. Golly. Well, that's good. At least at least you still got time to sleep, you know, when you, when you finally be able to Ripley fall asleep. Ripley sidesteps the attack. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Oh. Ripcord drop kick. Holiday just... Okay. I get oh I definitely goodness. get that. Brought down with a DDT. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. So for, for me, since the weekends, I, I pretty much just got the weekends off from work. Oh, so it's so that's why I can spend the time streaming here. more. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. On, this is a great way to wear that's a great this match is already going bad. Turns it into a great try to turn it around. Needed a gut cream. How is Rhea just reversing everything I do? Oh, we know what's coming up next. Ripley's got her hook. How is Rhea doing like this? Done. done for now, but I have a feeling this isn't over, Cole. Alright, well, I mean, shit, I still I get that though. Growing up, I've always been been the, the uh, wrestling watching nerd, so trust me, I I, I totally understand. Well, that's why I got a bunch of anime stuff around the room and video game stuff. Yeah, Rhea whooped my ass. I don't I don't know what happened there at all. Rhea just whooped my ass. I, so I got an endless match with Rhea Ripley at Clash at the Castle. All right, I got this. Yeah, I can't restart with that one. Luckily, it was an optional thing, so if I got my ass whooped, it doesn't really affect anything, so I'm cool with that.
<laughs> nice. Hey, well, for the third time, <laughs> have, have, a, have a good, well, morning. Have a good morning, bro. Hopefully, you can finally fall asleep or something. But like always, if you can't, I'm still here. I should be streaming for probably Here's one more hour, probably. In and so I'll be to here. Be walking out. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. One of these women is leaving this building in an ambulance. And the other is going to be known as the most ruthless, brutal competitor in WWE. Can't wait to try this match on soon. This is the first time with, with um ambulance match. But damn, it feels good for Dawn to get back in the normal outfit. I was honestly getting a little bored of the Rio cosplay outfit, honestly. But I still like that entrance though, so if I get that entrance at the end, I might I might put that on Dawn, maybe. Especially for a hill run, I know I'll use it. Sit back and enjoy the violence, boys. This one's personal. I just do this. I will say though, is it just me or does it really feel like the smaller sets that WB have actually work way better? Like, I feel like the smaller sets really does work better for WB nowadays rather than the big overblown sets. Ripley may just be one of the most intimidating presences WWE has ever experienced in either division. She strikes pure, unbridled fear straight into the hearts of her opposition. Yeah, it's almost impossible not to second-guess yourself when you're taking on Rhea Ripley. She can just seem unstoppable at times. Yo, Rhea looks so damn good. I think Ripley good. has done all she can to cultivate the aura of fear. There's a mental aspect to her game that you can't overlook. Rhea Ripley is ready for the nightmare to begin. All right, let's get into this ambulance match. Oh shit, here comes the ambulance. It's an ambulance match. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent into the ambulance by any means necessary. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner! Now, let the match begin! Well, let's go, Rhea. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be intense. It's going to be a classic Oh, well, damn, Simon, that wasn't that long. The phenoms in the women's division are going to settle their very personal issue. A matchup this heated couldn't just end with a simple pinfall or submission. But it will all end here tonight, showing absolutely no Well, you join me for an ambulance match. Me and Rhea, ambulance match. Snap mare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Boom. Oh, that was a nice leg drop. Great athleticism. Ripley can't escape this pressure. Ripley's experiencing some brutality. Mia whooped my ass backstage with Jay whooped my ass in this now match. For Rhea to capture some momentum. If Ripley was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Oh, shit. I'm done with you, I swear to God, I'm done with you. And she's wasting no time kicking things up by bringing this chair into play. Oh my gosh! Oof! Kick finds it. With the counter! DDT! Axe handle finds its target. I said, why are you just chilling in the chat? 
but I will see you under the viewer numbers. Looking to put an end to this. Snap, pile driver. And that looked like a terrible landing. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to Ooh, see what shit. happens. Able to get out of the way. Shot kick with precision. Oh. Look at this. Deadlifting there. On the Turn it into a, a gut wrench suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another. A second gut Just wrench suplex. On. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Look at this. Opening the oh, back. Shit. Why it took you so long to open it? Success in this ambulance match. Getting an up close and personal view of their ride out of this arena. Boom. Oh shit. Just, uh, I was about to say, how, how do I stop it? Oh, okay. It's just like a submission system. There, there's no way I'm, I'm having this hard of a time with this. There's no way. And they're not ready to let this end just yet. Still more fight to be had. I already know I gotta beat Rhea down for a while because she's gonna take forever to get inside here. There. Rhea Ripley showing oh, off her outrageous power. Electric oh, devastating face buster. This is why Ripley's a nightmare opponent. Ripley really? looking to force her really a submission on the outside. Trying to get her to tap out. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. You know what? Yeah, go and ahead. Agony has no Just reason to let to go end this goddamn we see her smooth. tapping out in pain. And now getting posted up in front of the ambulance doors, just motionless here. Oh, come on. I pressed triangle. Oh, man. All right. Look at the struggle to... No, fuck you. That's incredible. What resolve. Boom. All right, this one I got folks on really trying to win. I want to win this endless match. I never played an endless match yet in here. So you guys get to watch the first endless match that I'm doing. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Ooh. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. And she dodged that one Shit. nicely. Raven that shot. Her hurt. opponent better run. Slipped out of the way. Oh, oh come on. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Ooh, bullseye. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. I am just hurting. Oh, really that's got to sit your back. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. She's looking to end this now. Yeah, I gotta wear her down completely. Oh, disabling the leg with that. Ripley in a surprising bit of danger. Ripley has to stop struggling. Come on, Rhea. Elbow to the knee. He, he tear the your whole body lock. apart. Look at this brutality. Brutality. Really just laying it in. Oh, with authority. Wow, oh, Ripley Ooh, put a almost. stop to that. Firm control. Big boom. Sheesh. Just straight boot in the mouth. Able to prevent Rhea's attack. Ripley avoids the attack. Man. Strikes. Wow. Power drop kick. Where you going, Rhea? No count out nice, as she nice. takes this fight to the floor. Turned that one around. Just carrying the opposition. Wait, you could do that? I didn't know you could do that. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, nice. So you got to go through two doors. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm learning. Miraculous. Oh, come on now. I mean, she's giving me a rough ass time trying to get her inside the ambulance. Oh, come on. I know I pressed the reversal for that one. Now they're just bullshitting me. Yeah, Ripley's been an aggressor throughout this match, and that was a major reminder. Come on, get up, get up, get up. She's got the high ground on top of the ambulance. A little call and response yep. from the Why not? Let's just climb up. Universe. Now she's up that ladder on the roof of the ambulance. Ooh. This has gone from bad to worse. Someone's got to get out here and be the voice of reason. Come on. The one time I go for the signature, all of a sudden it's reversed. Nice. Life support after that. Just got to stuff her in the ambulance now. Rhea is just doing everything to me now. She is truly trying to kill me. This isn't going to win the fall. And look at her giving up. She's quitting, but it doesn't save her from the hold here. I mean, it's fine. I might as well do that so that way just get her off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Soon enough, they're gonna go through the ambulance. Uh oh, she has trouble. All right, this game is being ridiculous now. I can't even get a simple reversal to get out of this shit. But ain't gonna matter. She's trying to ask for mercy, but not even tapping out can help her. To the face. What a redirect. Oh, come on. Well scouted by Ripley. They pretty much just made Rhea unstoppable really in this shit. She just hitting me back and forth for signature, finisher, signature, finisher. Yes, she's beating the dog shot out of me. I can't do nothing. <laughs> Rhea Ripley is literally like the Undertaker in this game. I can't do shit but just take this ass beating over and over. The engine's running and the ambulance is ready to go. Great strength beat. No, all the way up there. Oh, shit. My girl's dead. Head first into the ambulance appears to be completely defenseless right now. Oh, come on. I pressed triangle there. It is not the hair. Yeah, I'm not winning this. <laughs> I'm not winning this. Why you gotta be a Brock and Kofi Kingston? Why you gotta be Brock and Kofi Kingston? Oh, and I gotta do the match over again. Fuck. All right. Let's go. Fuck this shit. I'm, I'm just gonna assault this room. I'm not giving her a chance. Hey, you should be happy. I got the I got a loss. I'm not losing Peter again, though. For her mistake. Uh oh, got snatched up here. I'm gonna make sure that I don't lose again. <laughs> Quick thinking pays off. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Well, why is Rhea so damn difficult all of a sudden here? into the corner and she knew Ripley's game plan everything she does I get reverse or something she slips outside what does she got in mind swinging those ambulance doors open could have one thing in mind Ripley with the wherewithal to counter yeah Chelsea or Thea can't do it but you know you got Rhea that could do it because you obviously see how this, this is going. to the floor. Made her pay for her mistake. Bang! Trying their opponent's arm out. There's a double stop right down the arm. There's a will, there's a way. Big 
running leg drop. She can't reverse everything. Things taking a turn for her now. She can't reverse everything. Oh, ouch, ouch, caught her. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Attack after attack is smothering Rhea. Can Ripley recover from this adversity? I'm gonna dare about Rhea recovering from shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, they are overpowered as team. I, I don't know really. That is a good question. Debilitating attack on the I, way. I feel like it has to be either a team Drops that's like up and coming. Or the team has to be like really dirty. I feel like it's gonna be those two things that's gonna cause it. Because the only third option is that one of them turn heel on the other and then the tag team dissolve itself, which would probably be the only third option that that could happen. But we'll have to see, because that is a good question. Great athleticism. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Yeah, she continues to maintain the leverage here. Oh, what a counter. Rhea managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Not only that, I feel like if it happens, I feel like Bianca's going to be the one getting pinned right or submitted. Because I feel like they want to get the one to keep Jade as fresh as possible. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Wow. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Nah, for real. Oh, this will tear your knee apart. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Well scouted by Ripley. She was being tested, but now finally gets some offensive running. Oh, hell no. Launched into the ambulance. Are you just automatically talking me in the ambulance? Desperately trying to close the first of two doors. Yeah, can they get it done? Halfway there. Oh, yeah, I think Jade. I think Jade turning on Bianca would make more sense than Bianca turning on Blade. I mean, Jade. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Oh, because it's like really try to think about it. If if Bianca was the was the one to turn on Jade, it would have to be probably like a jealousy story of like I'm jealous of how the newcomer comes in. From the work off of my back type shit. But if it's Jade, I feel like Jade would be more do it to where like I'm trying to get my name up. An atomic drop and in an up kick to the face. Oh, oh come on, I wasn't even near her. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Out kick to the back. Stink. Well, at least I'm doing a little bit better against Rhea. A little bit Absolutely better, per se. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. A shovel? Don't use a shovel! She ain't using shit on me. I don't give a damn. Ooh, look at her answering back. Showing some extra scouting. No Joe, Joe, Joe Henry to beat who? Elbow throw saying not today. Yeah, no. I don't I don't think it's gonna be Joe Henry. <laughs> It'll be hilarious, but I don't think it's gonna be Henry. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Setting up for something here. How is she doing this every time? Come on now. What the fuck? Meter is unfair as hell, bro. This is like crazy. Look, I believe in Joe Henry, but I'm not saying for Joe Henry to beat beat on two women wrestlers. <laughs> like, I don't think Joe Henry is going to be grabbing the women's title tag titles on his own. It, it just doesn't seem like that. There we go. Now I torpedoed this bitch in there. All right, come on. Nice, I got it. I got it. Oh, trying to close the second door and win the match. Inches away from victory. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. 
actually escaped from the Damn ambulance. Rhea. This battle rolls on. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. Oh. She would hit me with a rip tie. She, 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 she would hit me with a rip tie. Throw ambulance and shut the doors. Oh no, getting dragged Damn to it. the edge Can't of the anything. ambulance. I swear, I hate that reversal button in, for the ambulance door because I know I've been pressing that shit. To force the first door closed, just has to make sure to oh no, we can get in the second door. Pushing with every fiber of their being to slam the door. Nah, Rhea, it's not happening. It's not happening. We're not doing this over again. We're not doing this over again. We are not doing this over again. Get your ass inside that ambulance. We are not doing this again. No, fuck you. Get this first door. Nah, the Dawn for Greatness did it. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. She had a fuck. I forgot she had a resiliency. I forgot she had a resiliency. Shit. And there's Ripley making another lasting impression on offense. Yeah, Rhea continuing to get up, Dawn. The competition here. <laughs> I forgot she had a resiliency, damn it. <laughs> what the heck does she plan to do up there? Oh, no! Good Lord! Really? Really, video game? We know what lengths either one of these competitors will go to in order to win this battle. Get your... Oh, I missed you. I wanted to see you in the face again. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Yeah, try to... She gonna be, she gonna need to believe in Joe Henry. I'll be damned if I'm gonna keep this going. All right, come on, we got this. Nice, nice, nice. Just close the second door. Victory is. Believe in Joe Henry. I believe in Joe Henry. Come on. You got us. Still more fight to be had. Oh, what impact! Ooh, sharp kick. All right, she's nah, let's bring this in the ring. Go. I'm not. No, this is some bullshit. Rio won't die. <laughs> Absolutely. I know you're the cover star, but this is some bullshit. Mommy ain't staying on top this time. I'm she anticipated that one. Drop kick. Rhea capitalizes there. All right, I gotta hear one more signature or finisher. Her ball, really. This one cannot be lost by count out. Jeez. The good thing is I still have my resiliency, so I I have a chance to still hang in here for a little bit longer. Combination rolls through super kick. Go right to the kidneys. I will say I'm not shocked though that this is the one match I have to go the long distance for, honestly. God damn. Alright. Get your ass out of this ring. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Don't reverse this. Uh oh, pump handle applied. Let's hit dynamic pump handle. Get her up, 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 get her up. Get her into that ambulance and slam those doors. Get in. Danger here now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, throw her ass in there. Throw her ass in there. Nah, this did it. This did it. That dynamic pump handle did it. I know for a fact it did it. Now he just needs to get that second door closed. Pushing with every fiber of their being to slam the door. I don't care what you're talking about. I'm not doing this match again. I'm not doing this match again. Fuck that. I love Rhea Ripley. I do. But fuck that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that match was more was harder than it was supposed to be. <laughs> Bro, I like to see you stream and do it. Cause I'm not. I'm not. Like, what was the point of hitting over one more finisher if all I needed was one more signature? I would. 
technically, actually, technically, no, I hit her with three finishes. So I, I definitely did enough. Did way more than enough. Happy to avoid the ambulance and the last tonight. one was outside on the, on, on the floor. So disdain, technically, I did enough. Into getting them into the ambulance. We saw the length someone will go to when they're hell bent oh, on destroying man. their opponent. That match is bullshit. Yeah, she beat me first and I beat her back. What else do you want? <laughs> nice. At least I have the entrance now. Yeah, no, there's no restarts in real life, but we're playing a video game, so I, I can't really do nothing or say nothing about that. <laughs> no, your, re your re resiliency, that shit has to go up. Resiliency has to go up now. Just after that match alone. Yep, Dawn's now back to her to her blue. Wait, Don sent Dom sent me a message? What did Madame say? Hey, maybe don't let Rhea know I reached out to you, but if you ever need a plus one, I'm around. Dominic, get your ass out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, right, Simon. That's what I'm hitting you with. Yeah, I. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with yeah, I. Right. <laughs> your ass know you know you wanna stay for the stream. You know you wanna stay for the stream at this point. I ain't listening to none of that. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like I could play through all of these stories. I could earn a payback with some supernatural amulets. I could earn another payback with paparazzi and mystery outfits. Nice, so I could play through all of these. See, that's why I said Simon, I'm not listening to you no more. I'm not listening to you no more. <laughs> but I'm about to go ahead and grab that item right there. That entrance, that entrance is a must to add on to a dawn. What was it? This brutality or some shit? This is why brutality. <laughs> I mean shit, you might as well just sleep through the stream anyway, just just join along. <laughs> Besides, it's fun to have you around in the streams also. You, you, you help me bring life onto these streams. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this entrance. Gotta change the video, but I'm definitely keep the entrance. <laughs> Sorry, I napped. What did I type? I hate Matoda. <laughs> well, you're gonna hate Matoda even more because she's gonna keep this entrance. So it looks like now I could go a little bit longer and play more into these stories. So for right now, from how this stream is going, well, this stream is actually going well. Fuck it. Why not? Let's see what's up with Liv Morgan. What she got for me. You're certainly making waves around here. You've made some waves yourself in WWE and outside too. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Why not? <laughs> what terrible name. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Would they be interested in booking a different WWE superstar? Specifically one who's me? Actually, 
They probably would. Want me to set it up? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. Still have me. I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Ew, my cheese. Big fan of smelling things. Right. Anyway, thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And a good luck in your match with Xia Li that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint. Okay, so I guess now we get it on the path of seeing how it is with Hollywood. All right, cool, nice. And I start off with a match against Xia Li, which I hope Xia Li does good, like somewhere else since she's not since she's like got released. It sucks she got released, honestly. I enjoy Xia Li. Here comes the big. All right, let's take a look at this entrance. I do like it. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one thaw. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Song Dynamic Matoda. Telling the difference between a golden Stilton and a Mimolet still won't help Cap tonight. Never yeah, doubt that Corey me. knows his Yeah, all right. I'll see you, bro. <laughs> I love this entrance. Just no matter what, just fuck with the cameraman every time. <laughs> now that she's gotten a taste of fame, we're about to find out if Cap can focus on her match. I do like the entrance, so I definitely want to see how this plays off. Zia Lee is not here to make friends, she is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. Burp with so many damn time. Crazy. And from Chongqing, China, Zia Lee! Zia Lee, a standout competitor in the first two Mae Young Classic tournaments, but has evolved to an even more sinister and mysterious competitor. Despite her darkness, Lee still seeks to provide justice in WWE. Z I don't get it. The captain's been all over the internet because like of a do it cheese inside. smelling show. You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show. And the cat was great on it. Her observations about Gruyere pairings okay. were actually I'm quite sure astute. This. Oh, this is cheesy. Even for you two. Great awareness as she proves to be. Great. Wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Early on oh, submission. Presentation That's good of power start. there. Um, look at this. Good thing she got out of that. That would have been nasty. Oh. Drop kick right to the knee. A huge target on the knee after that. Yeah, Zia Lee's dangerous with her legs. Like, I gotta attack the legs first. Submission incoming. Locked in. Rocked out. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Looking bad for her here. Able to parry that one. Ooh. Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. Come on, Zaya. Elbow drop. Knee crusher. Just relentless. Just punishing. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh, leg breaker. Yeah, this is a quick way to take out Zaya. Really falling behind. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. Big four. Sliding under the I love that sliding move. Always good. Toss 
caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Back in the ring now. And she's being held in check here. She just has to find a spark somehow. Elbow drop. Lee is taking this ass That's the most of she's doing. Good luck walking after this. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Twisted into a late breaker. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Beautiful shot block. Shoulders Stay down, or we're going to get caught in submission. No, two counts. Should have stayed so down, Zaya. She's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Dropping the knee. And Zaya Lee is really falling behind. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Wait a minute, setting in. All right, done deal already. We can delay. Now it's time for Dawn to greatness. Submission is in. Leg getting contorted. Oh, and, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, Zaya was already beat the second I took her Let's legs out. Most of her offense is from her legs, so taking those out just easily wins the match. tonight defeated she fought like a warrior but Zia Lee just couldn't get it done in the end that bitch dynamic by the way <laughs> Sorry for sending you a message out of the blue like this, but I saw you on Cheese, please. You had an amazing presence, especially when you were waxing poetic about the creme brulee. Thanks. Who is this? Name's Jupiter. Let me cut. So let me cut the cheese to, to, the, to the chase. God damn, that shit is horrible. I like to represent you. Sorry about the cut the cheese joke. Knew it was dumb the second I sent it. Shoot. Represent me how? I'm sure you have tons of ages slipping into your DMs if you choose to go with me. I could take your Hollywood career to next levels. TV, movies, maybe even video games. Who knows? Fuck it, let's give it a shot. I'm not sure how much stock is in those premises, promises, but oop, I guess there's no harm giving you a try. That's the spirit. There's something I want you to do. I'd like to send some tape of your next performance to casting directors. Directors, understand you're working with a co-star named JCJ. Really play to the crowd. Show them the enthusiasm you have when you are tasting the Manchenzo. The fuck is he saying? Maybe rub, rub it in your co-star's face too. Show me some range. Sure, whatever you say. Excellent. I won't have my people call your people, but I will be in touch soon, directly. Okay. You could have just said that in the beginning. All right, let's head to this match. We already seen my entrance enough times as it is even with the new one. So let's just let's go straight to the match. Same thing with JCJ. Well, if it isn't the internet, darling, the captain. Not just the internet. Snap mail right into the surface. I respect it, right? The Start with a flourish of standing no, she, she strikes. Okay. Escape there. Fighter outside the ring. Okay. Launcher set up in the corner. Able to interrupt the attack. Ooh, well measured. No oh, wicked kick to the lower back. 
and get out of the ring. Thank you. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Effective use of the knee. Jane out of there in a hurry. Ooh, that was a nice German. Looks like that chip on Jane's to the shoulder point. may have just gotten knocked off. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. I will, I will say that that is a that is an interesting way of breaking into the Hollywood a stuff. Second gut red suplex. That is the kind of move that Show leaves off your charisma to the crowd. The floor. Unbelievable. And gets tossed back yeah, into the mat. Take it a moment to ass. get pumped yeah. off of this crowd's incredible energy. Jane has no control here. Jane is really taunt your quote unquote scene partner. Just say my she's opponent, but okay. Fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Okay. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Mistake made by Jane. Loser. Her opponent know she is ready for anything. Oh, Finish the quote unquote audition with a pin, pinball or submission. Never ending blows. Okay. Coming at full force here. Big leg drop. She's losing some steam now. And hanging tough, but beginning. We'll say his objectives aren't that bad. But it makes sense. You know, shows some versatility. A second gut red suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. She avoids the attack completely. Body the jaw. Jane has no control here. Jane is really having I've trouble. I've got to have the floor defense. signature. She Whatever it is, to check it out the next one. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Catching a drop kick. That's a few times now she's taking a hit up in that region. Oh my goodness! Great athleticism. Precision knee. Oh, and that buys some time. There's the bulldog. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, JC. Oh, Show me what you got. On the chin. Gonna set them up for the Finish me. stretch their ass out. Going for the Venus stretch locked in. That move Three has to hurt a lot, honestly. <laughs> she getting stretched like that in the middle of the match. Sheesh. And she's keeping the pressure on here. Yeah, she's doing a good job carrying out her game plan. From the apron. Pop right in the stomach creates the separation. Smart. to the strikes rights and left elbows knees all of them lethal run out of ringside and back to the mat oh all right let's god damn it. every time i try to save her on the floor she keeps reversing from jc jc isn't taking this line down anymore jc was getting grinded down but it could have just started a quick turnaround here hey. turning the table that was a nice there. try but not oh, on this match What's it's dropping. Oh, Let's get the pin here. That might have knocked Jane out for good. Two. And now about All to right. it, folks. She tried, though. She gave me a good match. These women put I don't know why she kept reversing the signature one. a lot, but at the same time, she gave me a good match. So, I mean, there's that. But, yeah, JC Jade, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of promise in her, to be honest. JC Jane enraged by this loss. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. <laughs> I will say one thing I'm happy about with this stream right now, there hasn't been one interruption from any type of scammers or anybody trying to, hey, you want to pay for my design bullshit? So I'm very happy. This is the one stream where it hasn't happened. I'm probably jinxing it, but I don't give a fuck. I I just feel good not dealing with that. That performance with JC was brilliant. Some of it felt kind of silly. That's what that 
that's what was brilliant acting it's all about being in touch with your emotions you totally sold it i blow i'm blown away i'm sure listen i'm on the edge of booking something big for you like big big huge please hold tight just for a little longer okay sure whatever I really hope something good comes out of this because it feels like I'm working with a weird studio agent right now. But hopefully it does I know something. I you're just here to train, but I gotta ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match? Seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Not as concerning as when you went all bad guy on Psycho Sally, but still, doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. <clears throat> this agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? <laughs> hey, Damn. I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit, or are we talking cheap-looking suits and rental cars? I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Ugh, you're killing me here. And definitely getting catfished. <sighs> Honestly, you may be right. Yeah, very I've right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. But so far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his <laughs> aunt can get surgery. Come on. <laughs> you never know. Gotta help out somebody sometimes. But nah, definitely, I would have been thought this is like a scammer of some sort just trying to get me to do extra shit on TV. Because it's like, where, where is this all going to? Alright. So, like, I'm in another match right now. So, I'm just focus on the match. Attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is scheduled for one song. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb Dynamic Matoda! Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who's earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. Yeah, I'm about to say that doesn't seem too bad at all. This is my favorite part. I love this one. Just straight disrespecting the camera, man. <laughs> Love it. Cap. I will say the entrance works out perfectly to where it looks like it could work for both guy and girl. Tegan so I mean, looking ready for it works fight. either way. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. Bring it on, Tegan. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I heard she's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. The cap needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Drop Ooh, kick. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Running leg drop. I love that combination, honestly. Answering back. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh, man. That'll tear your hand. String. A knee drop delivered. So precise. Great athleticism. I am whooping up. And ice. she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Punches to the ear? How are they going to hear after this match? And Ox is Not really being problem, knocked around Byron. here. Yeah, but Tegan can't allow this burst to hinder her. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. She avoids the contact. I will say, I wonder what happened to Tegan Ox. I haven't really seen her on TV that much lately. 
Hopefully she's all right, because the last thing I would want for her is another injury. She may not excite me a lot, but the last thing I want is to see someone like get injured constantly and then they're just there collecting a paycheck just being injured. Don't get me wrong, when someone working a 9 to 5, that's something they would want. You know, get paid to, do, to chill out and do nothing. Knocks with a reversal. But in the wrestling world, it, it, it sucks when that happens. Boom. I didn't know I had that X now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match Move could rest. still go either way. She sent flying into the corner. Alright, what is it? Grab get key to you to the upper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, pendulum! Tegan's hopes are waning. Oh, we know the toughest knocks okay, possesses. Right. She needs to show so, it now. I did throw Tegan caught right by surprise. Okay, there we go. I'm about to say, Thank but I know you. I grabbed like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but what the can't fuck? just interrupt the match. Where's security? Bro, where the security guy at? What the hell? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tiga Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. What was that? Man was. He certainly didn't do Cap any favors here tonight. Don't tell me that was the actual guy. Don't tell me that was the guy who who's trying to offer me the, the the fucking um acting gig. That's the worst time that had popped up this like out of all times. I don't know if I want to hire him then if he's doing that. Yep, it is. I definitely should not work with you just because you cost me a match. <laughs> what the hell was that? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper, you're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Though I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity. Although, I may have misspoken a bit. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know. Uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista. Ooh, okay. I, I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista. Oh, that is interesting. So I can either star with Cena or star with Batista. I'll be honest. I I kind I kind of would go with John Cena because John Cena is a little bit more versatile. But Batista, he's good as an action star, but I feel like he's better as a comedian. Like one like one of those funny series of christmas movies that fucking arnold schwarzenegger did so you know let's go with john cena a chance to do a big budget film with john cena <laughs> can't say no to that ah, then i won't either i'll let the casting director know i'll talk to your people around here too i'm sure when i give them my juniper charm they won't mind you taking some time off to film alfie thank you I've gotta admit i doubted you but you really came through honestly I mean, most people doubt me what allows me to be sneaky like a ninja <laughs> it wasn't sneaky though when you came in interrupting my match but i mean i guess whatever floats your boat guess what <laughs> what's up i haven't had a chance to watch raw yet tonight alfie is real and he got me a big freaking movie role wait really 
Wow. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Wow, congratulations. I start like now. I'm nervous. Should I be nervous? You should be nervous, but you would do great. Just don't go all Hollywood on me, okay? I can't wait to see this. I hope this something works out. Shit, I hope this works. Even Liv, Liv gave, gave me a clap, so shit, this should be nice. I mean, besides, she's not a champion currently right now, so this could work. Oh, nice. Let me turn the volume for this. Hey, get to see John Cena. That's Coming dope. Back from break. First team to the set. Hey, I got the A-lister. That's good. Three months later. Oh, shit. Alfie's real. Alfie really got me a movie gig. That's okay. That's dope. Heard an exciting rumor word on the street is that after months of shooting that new movie, DDM is making a return to Raw. Alright, let's cut let's clear up all these. Hey, William Regal, how you doing? Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Cena money goes a long way. <laughs> I'm hardly there yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around i wasn't aware the film came out yet no but there's been a lot of confidence in mudslide 2 based on the dailies mudslide 2 well in any case we're glad to have you back in action tonight perfect and i've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well you know made it more bespoke to me i'm excited to be back and bring some a-list buzz to raw oh boy She's coming back like a, a female miss. Buzz. Very well. Let's see this entrance. I'm guessing they're gonna give me another interesting entrance, same thing as a brutality thing. But look at her with the whole movie star look. Okay. See the bright glow works this time. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking I want to try to beat this story first and then we'll end off the stream. So we'll see. We'll see. If the story seemed like it's dragging out a little, I'll probably end it up Zoe before Stark I is here it. to face a mystery opponent. But honestly, I'm enjoying the story, really. This My Rights is very interesting. It's been a lot of different stuff the into it. contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Zoe Stark! You can feel the anticipation building in the WWE Universe tonight. Who is Zoe facing? She is focused and determined, Michael. Whoever walks through that curtain had better be ready for a fight. Oh, I'm definitely ready. I've been doing the movie star thing, so it's about time to get back in the ring. Let's lower this down a little back. All right, let's see this entrance. Zoe is facing. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something interesting. Yep, it's definitely different from the lighting. So let's see what we got. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's a little much, but I like it though. Oh shit! I gotta hand it to the cat. That was quite the arrival, and she looks like a million bucks. Hollywood suits her. And maybe she ought to take the first bus back. Corey, why are you mad? You mad that I get to be in a movie and come back and wrestle as a top premiere star? Come on now. Nah, but I admit though, the entrance is pretty hilarious. It's, it's definitely out there. But it, it suits her, and I like the, the color change in the outfit. I will say though, this My Rise is definitely interesting. I, I've never seen a My Rise to where they have your character change up their looks so many goddamn times. 
There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Submit your now, big return with a cap. win or by pin or submit. WWE okay. and Raw is He's... lucky to have the cap back. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal uh -huh. stretch. Uh -oh. Definitely got to get out of that So pretty much Dawn came back and she's right now the female Miz. You know? It suits her. I mean I'm with it. You know it? Since we're in the middle of this story, I don't know how long she's been out there, but I'm gonna do something I should have did during the during the other story with Fall Rio. Number change your hair color. I might as well change up the look a little bit, you know, match the look. The springboard attack fails to land. I will say the dodge system is sometimes overpowered. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Oh, it's a kick. Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Yeah, now Stark's got to turn the momentum around. Come on, Zoe. Oh yeah, I'm I'm showing out on this return. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut red suplex. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull okay, that didn't work out. that much weight behind it. Knee drop. Oh! She's struggling to defend herself. She has to build the strength to turn the tide. How are they gonna hear after this match? Every strike more devastating than the last. She's pushed into the corner. Oof. Oh, shit. This competitor has hey, to see more of it. Nice. She can end it here. No early kick out. She is still very much in this. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? She keeps putting me in this damn abdominal stretch. counter there and turns it into a great offensive maneuver. I got this up kick for her. Drop. Oh, atomic drop into a up kick to the face. Two. It's over. Big, All big three for the returning A listed. What's good? Let's take a look at these ladies going toe to toe. Zoe Stark gets put away. In the end, Zoe Stark suffered damage and couldn't recover. This is not what Zoe Stark had in mind. You know what? I think white would be a good hair color. So we're going to turn our hair white for this one. Well deserved win tonight. I'm pleased to see that even with all the extra toppings, you're still putting your work in the ring first. It was great to fill the Russia W universe again. I can't help but think of something's missing though. I should be bringing even more of my star power to WB. Do you have a specific idea? I'm happy to pitch it up the ladder for you and we'll see if we can make it happen. No need. Appreciate the offer, but Alfie's already been making some calls and the set is almost built. The set is almost built. The f I, bruh, I don't know what she's coming with, but it's going to be interesting. But before we do that, let's go ahead and step into the first thing. Let's change that hair color. Yeah, we're going full storm. Turn it normal. The glow is a little bit too strong for this one. Or we 
gonna add a little bit more shine to it though. Eyebrows match and take care of the lipstick. Oh, god, no, never mind. We'll keep the lipstick where it's at. <laughs> Ready? No, actually, I feel like that was probably the wrong like lips anyway. She looks a little bit like a crack fiend, a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's bring that all the way down. Keep it natural for her. You know what's going to suck when I have to change all this back? change up for the in-game entrance doing the same no screw it go back first yeah because honestly all of this is just a, he a head mace that I just got put back on so it's not really like too much I'm doing with her but I feel like this the the hair color change should definitely help with the gimmick look she's doing right now Five ten, one thirty seven pounds. See, definitely works much better. Better, definitely, definitely more fitting for the look. All right, let's see here. Let's see what happens now. Good evening and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me. Oh God. <laughs> Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite John Cena in the blockbuster Mudslide 2, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. Oh, God damn. Strap in. It's going to be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion Ooh. about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh, yeah. I'm bad she has, a, she has her own automated clap button. <laughs> but I mean, it works, honestly. It gives a little personality for the shit. It would be funny as hell if, if at the end of all this, Mudslide 2 actually flops before it even comes out. Or as it comes out, that, that would be fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> all of this change would be for nothing, just for Mudslide to fail. Wow, well, that was fast. I got John Cena. I, hey, I got the special John Cena and the special Batista. Nice, so we are now in the Hollywood portion of this. Okay. So I'll say let's do like one or two my rise stuff and then we'll go ahead and like continue from there. But definitely my goal is to beat a lot of the story mode. All right, all right. So we'll put up the defense a little bit. All right, so let's do one of these first and see what we can do. You know what? Let's talk with Chelsea Green. <laughs> oh my goodness can i just say i'm such a fan of everything you've got going on <laughs> you certainly can do you want an autograph or something you're so funny mm. i don't get autographs do you want one 
<laughs> I'm good. But how can I help you? I just see everything you're doing. In the ring, you're winning. You're awesome. Outside of the ring, movies, web shows, and that adorable captive audience thing. By the way, I totally got how the title was playing off your nickname. I don't think most people did, but I got it. Anyway, the one thing I think is missing from the whole Cap Charismatic universe is me. I mean, you can always add in a Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green makes everything better. No offense, but I'm not really looking for a tag partner right now. Hmm. But are you looking for an assistant? You do have a lot going on, and I'd be great at it. I can get you in and take you to all the best spots, snap pics with you on social media, go shopping with you. I mean, that's my specialty. Wow. I mean, I that's could be a lot. something. But I do have a match in Japan coming up, and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed juggling it all. But it's more work work than what you described. I'd be looking for someone who could help arrange travel, maybe do a little research on some guests for captive audience, answer some basic publicity requests and emails, that sort of stuff. Probably not your thing. Are you kidding me? I love buying plane tickets and digging up dirt on your guests. Sign me up. Plus, I'm on my phone all the time. Could this be more perfect? I mean, Chelsea is sounding very convincing. Fuck it, I got nothing to lose. Let's try. It would be great to have some help. I've got a match against Dakota Kai, and with all this on my plate, I've barely had time to get to the gym. Maybe it's worth a try. Yes, tell me what I can do. I'll give you a list and see what you can tackle. Oh, and I'm sorry, but I do have some ring gear at the dry cleaners, and it'd be great if you could grab that. So cliche, I love it. Send me everything, not a problem, and you get yourself to the gym, boss. Ooh, I respect it. <laughs> assistance, ass assistant, assistance. All right, let's, let's let's see here. Surely Chelsea Green can't fuck up too much. Surely. And as I say that, a lot is probably gonna get fucked up. But yeah, like I said, I like the fact that you need to do so much stuff with this version of My Rise, like so much different shit that your person gets to do. It's very interesting. The men's was a lot of like rekindling with a lot of older stuff. The Taking women's is more testing out a bunch of new things. Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Dumb. Why are you putting on sunglasses, Saxton? Because the brightest superstar in WWE is on her way to the ring. Come on, Corey. Aren't you at least a little starstruck? I'm not gonna lie. So far, I like the star one more than the brutality. The brutality one is straight, but I feel like with how I'm doing with Dawn, if I wanted to grab any of these little side stories and make it her personality, I feel like the movie star one actually works best. So far. I don't know what's in the one with um. Uh, Alexa Bliss, but I'm, I'm pretty confident it might not fit Dawn completely. I can feel the rating spiking. Plus, the entrance is straight is straightforward for the one for for women, so it definitely works. An absolutely cutthroat competitor. Here comes Dakota Kai. Looking ready to assert her control. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. She's got a ruthless attitude, ruthless kicks, all in the name of damage control. Definitely feel like the Dakota Kai is going to be something special, especially with the new she damage control. She is now controller. the assassin of damage control. Yeah, the chip on her shoulder has grown even longer. There's the bell, and this one's official. Right, Dakota Kai is in the building, do. and she's ready to take her opponent out. It's no secret that Dakota Kai Dakota is a cold-blooded assassin. Dakota studies every move her opponent makes and then strikes. 
Dakota Kai never hesitates to call her shot, and once she detects a weakness, she's merciless in exploiting it. But on the other end of the ring is a female with unparalleled focus, a woman who is unflappable in and out of the ring. Going to be very difficult okay. to get the advantage on her. Just shoulders down. This could be it. A kick out before the referee can get to one. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Man, strikes. Wow. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh, yeah, Dragon screw, beautiful. Ooh, double axe handle. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I don't have Springboard for it. The Red Brand has been going strong for nearly three decades, and it's because of matchups like this one. The Monday Night Raw spotlight burns bright, people. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Catches the leg. Oh, oh man, okay. rather than jump. Oh, shit. Wow, what a pop okay. kick. Okay. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. All right, what was this? Oh, now I remember what the signature was. I haven't seen this shape, in a minute. But that's not stopping them from the float over your and It's definitely a good move. And into the count. Two. Almost Ooh, two and a half. Almost. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. She's starting to tire a little. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Lands the knee drop. Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Kai might be feeling a bit rattled. A bit rattled is a bit of an understatement. I think very oh, rattled, especially with this dynamic. What's coming bit. next? Right on the dome piece. This looks bad for Kai. And this one is over. Yeah. The new star power makes that match much quite quicker. A show. Here's another gander. See, now that was a good match. Here is your winner, Tom Dynamic And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Look at the anger and frustration on the face of Dakota Kai. Dakota thought it was going to be easier than it was, but wow, was she wrong. I will say, though, the, the, the blue in the eyes definitely does add to it very well. And I like the outlines are all golden too. <laughs> all right, Chelsea, what you got for me? Have such a great time in Japan. I'm feeling so good about this trip for you. Thanks. I have to admit, it was nice to fully focus on training. I felt better facing Dakota Kai than I have in a while. And I can't remember the last time I got to the airport this relaxed. Do you have my flight info? So glad to be of service. Flight info, fun wrinkle. Oh boy. Apparently, it's a whole different day in Japan right now. Who knew? Anyways, time zones are really confusing and your flight's not for another eight hours. But no worries, you're here now. And we have a car there to take you straight from the airport to the Japan Dome for your match. Uh, eight hours though? That's a lot of time to kill. I don't even get to check into my hotel first. That's a long flight, Chelsea. There won't be any time for that. It's already tomorrow there. Crazy, right? Anyway, good news is I got you into the absolute best sushi restaurant in Tokyo after your match. You're welcome. I'm sure it'll be great. Assuming I'm not too tired and can still eat solid foods. Thanks. You're in luck. They have amazing soups. You'll love it. And since you'll be gone for a bit, I should totally have time to grab that dry cleaning before you get back. I, Thanks. And please do. I'm about to say, don't tell me you didn't grab this shit the whole time. Alright, well, now we're on to Japan. Let's see what's going on there. But yeah, definitely, of course, we are continuing this tomorrow, as, like always. Saturday and Sunday, I try to keep it for just the My Rises, you know. And then, of course, on Tuesday, 
we back with another Zombies Tuesday. And this time, I think we're going to focus on some special maps for um, Black Ops 3. So I'm going to look at some special maps, some, something different I haven't played, you know. We're going to go from there. But yeah, my girl looking good though in Japan coming out with that entrance. your entrance all the time but let's go ahead and fast forward to the match let's see who are we facing here in japan lights out i want to say oscar nope eo sky okay i'll take it Eo Sky is a phenomenal wrestler, bro. She had a good run with the belt. But, but man, I want to see what more she can do nowadays. Yeah. Oh damn. So Dawn, yeah, she's having she had a rough flight. You can tell already. So let's try to make this match quick as possible. Take the least damage, much less. I was gonna go for her legs, but she's doing it way too quick. Nice diving slide, definitely can do it. Yeah, Sky, you might not be walking well after this match. Don't worry, I'll get her in here. I just gotta do a little work out here, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to destroy her legs. I'm going to try to get her to tap out very fast. Get up. Eh, I'll kick your work. Wasn't what I was going for, but I'll take it. Careful, don't want to take too much damage. I mean, it's not moving, I'm pretty sure, but still. Last thing I want to do is have her take too much damage. Work out those legs really quick.
and this time to end it all. Sorry, Eo, but you gotta go like the rest of them. You know why? Because dynamic is dawn for greatness. I love that submission, honestly. Very high quality submission. Man, I, re I really hope that they let you have this arena to edit out, because I would love to have this arena. And I mean, if not, I'm pretty sure I could find it somewhere. I hope so. Nice. Great showing in Japan. Great showing. How it's, how, how's it going? Was it absolutely amazing? I was exhausted from my match, Chelsea. I mean, the sushi place, isn't it amazing? It was, before I fell asleep at the table, but thanks. You got the dry cleaning, right? My gear ripped during the match, so I, so I need the other set back. Not yet. You got so you got me doing so much, it's crazy. But I figured out the best solution so I won't be overwhelmed. I hired my own assistant and already added her to this chat. Hey Cap, if you need Chelsea to do anything for you, feel free to shoot me an email and I'll make sure she'll get it. Super excited to join the team. We should talk about this when I get back, Chelsea. Totally. Let Tiffany know to let me know and I'll put in a combo on the books but for now i'm setting up your next opponent who do you want to face cora jade indy hartwell isla dawn or jc jane i don't know who's available all of them actually i took the liberty of putting requests in for each so you could decide it's like making hotel or restaurant reservations you make a brunch and then you just cancel the ones you don't need isn't tiffany the best so what will it be the fact that Tiffany Stratton is weirdly wanting to be a, a an assistant is crazy. The fact that Chelsea Green asked to be a, be an assistant and she had to go as far as getting an assistant to be an assistant is even crazier. But fuck it. Uh, let's have a match with someone I haven't had a match with. Indy Hartwell. Alright. So, I'm, I'm booked a match with Indy Hartwell, I guess. That's crazy. How do I have an assistant that gets so overwhelmed but she wanted to be an assistant to where she had to get another assistant in order to be an assistant? And you didn't even get my dry cleaning. The fuck? I might have to fire her as my assistant, to be honest. I don't think she's going to work out. I don't think she's staying long. Taking her place at center stage. Yeah, the nah. She's not going to work out. Why is she coming out with, with her with her lounging clothes, not the her wrestling gear? Is a five -woman battle royal. And it's a battle royal. What's the, the point of me asking Philippines. for a, a, an opponent? Nah, Chelsea's getting fired. <laughs> if, if Chelsea was my sister, I would have fired her already. Oh, like you and your sister is both fired. Superstar you in WWE is on her way to the ring. Come on, Corey. Aren't you at least a little starstruck? I thought I was making reservations to do a one-on-one -on -one match against somebody. Not reservations to decide who's all I'm going to be in one match. I'm not even a champion. I'm getting bullshitted. If she's going to wrestle in her normal clothes. I, I can't. Cora Jade is here. Kendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. Thank God that's your school. Stop and her opponent, <laughs> first from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. As far as Cora is concerned, no one gets up Cora. to her. Please get well. I miss seeing Cora Jade on NXT TV, honestly. Yeah, it's like literally, why'd you ask me? You put me in a match with all of them. What's the point of asking me which one? is here quite the impressive young talent i ain't gonna lie i like tall women sometimes indy hartwell is finer than motherfucker i'll say that now let's go and from melbourne australia indy hartwell pretty 
cool fact here. Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had That's my up, first honestly. match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. Corey, aren't you technically retired because your ass got injured to a point you couldn't wrestle no more? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, this is still crazy. Why am I facing everybody, bro? I wasn't expecting a battle royale, and now that in my normal street clothes. Behold the modern day witch. Uh, that dawn gives me the creeps. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun, as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. All right, so we're going to skip that. By the way, I, I did like Isla Dawn's look. The one time she was outside the whole witch look, I really think she looks better outside of that whole shit, bro. It's, it doesn't work for everybody, and honestly, it's not always an attraction. I'm just being real. Oh, here comes trouble. But also, here comes one of the top young talents from right. NXT. We've got some uh, unexpected chaos as four women all showed up scheduled to face Cap, who is expecting a singles match. Well, nice of WWE to change this to a battle royal, so no one has to go home disappointed. That still doesn't explain why Cap's in street clothes. Something's clearly off with her, and she better hope it doesn't carry over into the ring. Strikes with a kick. She flips it back on her. Oh, what a DDT. Yeah, definitely a bad wow. decision with this assistant yeah. shit, bro. Very bad. If you if she was going to get an assistant, Able she should have got somebody like professional. Each superstar man. trying to stay a step job, ahead. job opinion, uh, new job uh, uh, occupation is like assistant. You know because someone like Chelsea Dawn Green is intended. obviously a terrible choice. Just straight Super terrible. Quick thinking from JC. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Intercepted uh, with a clothesline to cut off the I don't the mind attack. a multi-person match, but I hate when it's something like this. The only thing I'm wondering, is this elimination or this one? Because I don't care, really. I'm, I'm going to try to win it, but if I lose it, I lose. The technically is set attempts, so there's no guarantee of winning anyway. Like, who picks a random ass, like, battle royale match? Oh, look at the mountain thrashing. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Lights out. DDT connects. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Finds the spot. Counter that. Oh, okay. So it's elimination. Oh, okay, it's over the top rope elimination. Nice. Okay, I can work with that. Big knee to stop the maneuver. And now she's getting back into the ring. Oh. And that stops whatever Dawn intended. You get out my ring, Dawn. And Dawn beats her to the punch. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a mean nice. jump. And set right into the corner. Oh, quite an effective counter. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. And Pat, that to the moon. And responds with a counter of their own. Oh, shit. Upward side slam. Dawn diagnosing her target. Submission. 
I don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. I, Ilo, you fucking stupid bitch. Let me listen. Let me make a suplex. Oh, this is what I hate with the AI when you're trying to make an elimination. Instead, I'm being smart enough to let you make the elimination, but you ruin the elimination. Attack from behind. The only thing I hate with the AI is when it comes to multi-person matchups. If it's an elimination, let me do my goddamn thing. Uh-oh. This could be it. Stop doing that. Back. For the love of God. Second time Isla's she, oh, Isla, she just tried to eliminate you. Why are you trying to stop me from eliminating her? Because she's just elim trying to eliminate you. That's stupid. Great height. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. And Jane reverses it. Did you hear the impact? God damn it. I blame Isla Dawn for this. I could have had her out by now. Oh my God! She had to keep Ready breaking it for some weird reason. She was clearly waiting for that. Yes, Jade, come on, get her out. She's trying, trying to create space. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Big oh. line. Isla Dawn makes no sense. in progress. Casey Jane has been uh, she's right. trying, you, trying to you create this space. Mouth this whole time. Inverted atomic drop. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, that was nasty. Stops the incoming Come attack. On. With a knee to the face. Setting foot in the ring now. Countered it just in time. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, she's quicker than me on that one. I'll give it up. Oh, jawbreaker. Call the dentist. She's oh. about to rise up to something catastrophic. Inverted face lock. Down with an elbow to the okay, that was big. That was big. Oh, no, 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 no. We got, 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 we got. Come on, Don. Really? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we're just going to sit here. She will wisely return to the ring now. And that stops whatever Dawn intended. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. Come on. Double stop. <laughs> Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Okay, let's hit this pump handle, handle real fast. What's coming yeah. next? Nice, nice. Alright, now throw her ass all the And there we go. More annoying than it needs to be, but we now got the job time done. To look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. I'm really wondering why that match was so damn annoying for like for what reason? She got a huge win here. Yo, we are looking you know at the all of those street clothes are sweated out right like now, a month. And you can bet she is about like, to let so everyone in the locker room know <laughs> just that.
right, let's see. Let's see what Chelsea Green got to say about all this. So glad you're here. We never discussed my benefits package. PTO, 401k. Yeah, we'll get right on that. After we discuss how you and Tiffany totally screwed up and never canceled a single one of my opponents. You expected us to do that? I think Tiffany pretty clearly said you can cancel the one you don't need. Are you serious? You and your assistant, which is crazy by the way, but whatever, are supposed <laughs> to be making my life easier, not making me look incompetent. I didn't even have my gear. It was still at the dry cleaners. Do you hear yourself right now? I really don't like this energy. You're coming in with a lot of attitude and totally talking to me like a subordinate. What's that about? Bitch, you're an assistant. Of course I'm going to talk to you like a subordinate. What kind of sense did that make? You are a subordinate. Okay, that's it. These working conditions are unacceptable. My assistant and I are on strike. <laughs> oh, I'll strike you. That's what's going to happen. Threatening striking workers with violence? Pretty sure that's legally protected. And besides that, not cool. But I don't think we have any other recourse than to teach you a lesson in the ring. I'd tell you to name the time and place, but I'm fairly sure you'd find a way to screw that up. So how about we just say raw next week? I'll check with Tiffany to make sure that works for my schedule, but fine. That is crazy. How do you ask to be my assistant, but then you, you you're so shit at your job, you had to get an assistant to be an assistant, and yet y'all still fail at that. How do you? How are you assistant with an assistant, and you both fail at assisting? What the fuck. Hey, just sent an email to your assistant and she responded with a number of choice words, a few of which I've had to actually look up and I'm really sorry I did. It might be time to let her go. A step ahead of you. I'm actually taking on both Chris, both Chelsea and Tiffany next week on Raw. And I thought Hollywood firings were brutal. Two on one? Want me to see if I could help you find a partner? I'm pretty sure I can't handle them, but if you happen to know anyone after what they put me through, it wouldn't be a terrible to actually have some actual help. I have an idea. Let me make a call. Nice. So it looks like I'm going to get a surprise tag team partner. I'm going to need it. Because <laughs> badly as I want to beat down both of them, I don't think a 201 is that good. But I ain't going to lie. I'm going to focus on beating down Chelsea more than anything else. Tiffany just got dragged into something. But Chelsea's more the person that needs to ask with me. I'll be honest, you can Tiffany exactly Stratton and um, WWE Chelsea Universe Green, so they would be the one. most hilarious tag team. Two, incomp two, two mentally brain-dead women that are both very skilled in the ring. Bruh, I feel like that would be more interesting than her and Piper Niven. <laughs> it, it, it just kind of just sets intriguing as hell. Oh, uh, but I still hate the fact that since now Chelsea's on SmackDown, we're not going to get Samantha Irvin. Talk about surprises! Ultimate. It's Cap with Stacy Keebler. And oh shit! I got Stacy Keebler. I mean, if I had to pick out of my legends, Stacy Keebler would probably be one of my last Chelsea ones. Green but, okay, and Tiffany okay. Stratton tried to take advantage of Cap, and she wasn't having it. Now they're going to deal with a WWE Hall of Famer who hasn't competed in ages. Respect to Stacy, but this is a whole different ball game. I still wouldn't believe Chelsea. I mean, I'm um, Stacy Keebler to be a good choice, but well, Cap recruiting I mean, Keebler fuck it. I'll take anybody that's willing to help. An issue here tonight. The fact that my manager was actually able to get, get her, that's free. used to roll calls, and now they're trying to roll their ex boss. I expect executive level chaos. Oh, yeah, I'm just going, I'm focusing on, on Chelsea. Oh, the fuck, this, this is not even a tag match. What it is, it's a one-on-one -on -one match with active managers that can fight. I'm just focusing on beating the ball shit out of Chelsea. Oh, the And we just saw some serious offense. And that can rattle Chelsea Green's foundation. A lot of energy left. Fresh target attack. Fuck up the dry clean. position as you can hope to be. Still, you fucked up my trip. Just going all out with every blow. 
try to fuck up my, my, my parents on Raw. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just hurting you. I will admit, she's fighting back. Not as strong as, as, as I am, but she's still fighting back. Never had a chance to block any of those. Driven down okay, an elevated okay. flatliner. Like I said, Chelsea's green not a bad wrestler. She's just very, very close to the side of the face. Stop to the leg. Tagging her partner in. Oh, oh look at these kicks. Oh. Oh. Just relentless. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Hard landing. Is it enough? Much respect, Stacy. Where's the haymaker? <laughs> Running drop kick on the money. There's more to come. Basement drop kick. Nice. You She's being dumb enough to be an assistant to an assistant. Oh, oh, Fucking retarded blonde. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Sorry, our oh, word. Ow. She's feeling the hurt here. Hard hitting damage coming from Strat. Look, I come from a time where I just say crazy shit. It happens. Yes, tag her back in. Please tag her back in. Eats a punch to the face. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. A stalemate of counters. DDT. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Look out. Good timing with that reversal. Oh, shit. Chelsea on the receiving end. Oh, and a double axe handle. Incredible height. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. No, no, and no. Range down an elbow retaliation. Stop auto changing. That's not even me switching the target. It's literally doing it itself. Harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, that backfired out. Major tag with a punch. Oh my goodness! This match may be nearing its limit. She is barely standing at this point. Oh, big double axe handle. Oh, kick connect. No, no, no. Why did you hit the ref? Yeah, this targeting system, I gotta fix. This shit is pissing me off already. I wasn't aiming for the ref to do the up kick to Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. A ferocious attack against Tiffany here. Tiffany's toughness needs to kick in here. All right, let's end this up with a nice dynamic pump. Does that finish Stratton for good? Two count. She really kicked out. She really kicked out. Just about as close as you can get. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. A leg drop across the knee. Very effective. 
She's starting to drag a little bit. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. No, that's fine. I'd rather get the fall on Chelsea. Larry. That would be it. And it is. Like I said, I'm happy Stacey Keebler came out, but I just need to just beat that ass on my own. And getting the fall on Chelsea Green made it so much more worth it. How dare you be, how dare you actually be my assistant? Can't handle the assistant job. And then you try to hire an assistant to be your assistant just to completely be failures together what the fuck here are your winners stacy keebler and john dynamic matoda my god here's a note if you ever get into media get an assistant that actually knows what they're doing don't get an assistant that just happens to just be like, I can do it, but they have no experience in it. All right, so we're gonna leave it off from there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, like always. We'll be back tomorrow to continue to my rise of Dawn Dynamic Matoda. Um, I enjoyed this one. I like the different turns and I like the current Hollywood style that she has, like it definitely fits her. So, of course, tomorrow we'll get back on. We'll finish this up. We'll most likely be doing the Alexa Bliss part of it. And we should hopefully have all the side stories wrapped up. So that way we can continue back onto the main story. But the women's story definitely is much longer. And I like it. So, if you enjoyed watching, give a like or follow and whatever here on Twitch. If you're seeing the replay on Blade Franco Plays, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow, comment, all that good stuff. And until then, I'll see y'all next time. Yup, yup.